as the combat evolves. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Halo combat evolved. All right. Um, have any of you guys ever watched Hunter x Hunter? Yeah. Okay. I've read it too. Right now, uh, me and my girlfriend have been watching that the past few weeks. We're in the fifth season, which is insanely long. That okay? Where where are you at? It's the, the you ants. Like the... the ants. Oh, okay. Yeah, like yeah. I don't know how much is left of the ants, but it's like after uh, the birth. If that, I don't want to spoil it for you. Oh yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, so wait till you get wait till you start playing chess. You're gonna lose your mind. <laughs> I can see. I, I have this show. Is, it takes so many turns. I'm like, that could be true. They could be like, I'm going. They could go to a fucking tower where there's battle royale chess tournaments. For all I know. Anyways, um, so yeah. Anyways, I'm sure that nothing about Hunter X Hunter would be relevant tonight. But um, oh, no. so <laughs> why why don't we go ahead and uh, oh, I gotta move the cameras around a little bit. Hold on. Uh, oh, it's because Duncan... Hold on. Wait, there might be an easier way to fix this. Uh, can I use the other camera setup? Is that, is that going to be better? Oh, if I Even it. though I have the headphone on, I keep like leaning into the phone mic, thinking that that's where I talk. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Okay, this it's works. Like even, um, Kinda. even when I'm like... Uh... Like what? Like when I ha when I don't have it in my hand, I will go pick it up, and then talk into it. Uh, <laughs> I, that's my one boomer trait: is that I don't understand wireless microphones. Yeah, that's that's fair. Uh, I I never had used wireless stuff that much actually. Like I I don't use wireless controllers, or microphones or headsets. Oh, you got you got the plug-in yeah, attachment. My headset. Wand. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Bruh. Yeah. Yeah, uh, those exist. Um, my headphones are, are <laughs> wired though. It's just these are uh, for like going like on public transit and at work. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about the wand. Like I know, I used to have one. <laughs> you use the public, <laughs> transit, public transit and, and it works. Yeah. <laughs> you just take it on the go and. Uh, um, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, wait. Do I have the? Do I have? The, where's the? Here we go. Yeah. You have the the gif of the elf. Uh, okay. There we go. So, uh, why don't we go ahead and, uh, resume our combat? Or first, go over, like, how we got to this combat. Well, good question. Um... Well, this wooden keep was built to sustain hurricane tier winds. So we went inside because we couldn't knock it down. And that was a terrible idea. And now we got fucking like a bug's life going on here. We got the, we got the wasps in this. Mm -hmm. We took a reasonable amount of precautions. It just turned out to not be enough. Yeah. <laughs> we're like, okay, let's close up the entrance. <laughs> okay, let's cover up all these other, like, vampire ant hills. Wasps by bugs. Mm -hmm. And then everyone sucks at perception, so. <laughs> hmm. mm, yeah, you guys fell into this trap. Luckily, you didn't like fall on the spikes or anything. Um, oh yeah, true. I barely saved it. Yeah. Well, you saved Riley, which is like. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. True. Debatable. Debatable whether or not it was a positive. <laughs> oh, also, daylight um, is just light, because despite being named daylight, it's not sunlight, which is stupid and wrong, but that's the rules as written, is so it's not true? actually damaging the vampires. Yeah. I mean, the Umber Hulks, if they have light sensitivity, then they have, dis or, like, some sort of, uh, like, not disability, but, you know, yeah. impediment. But the vampires are not affected at all. But because they... of a headache... That's interesting. Uh, the the Umber Hulk stone, so. Um, yeah, oh, you're right, actually. I just realized. Yeah, because it specifically says sunlight, not just light. And even though daylight is called daylight, it isn't sunlight. It just is light. Yeah. Damn. Okay, interesting. Well, okay, in that case, uh, yeah, because we were thinking about that, but luckily it wouldn't matter then. So... 
Um, yeah, you guys basically, like you said, you had kind of been considering ways to take out this castle, and then you just, like, went in and you did take precautions, but unfortunately, they set this trap. Um, right now, though, you have a bunch of rocks and you have balls and wasps swarming these, like, villager vampire spawn. And yeah, I'm just looking over there, like, that's looking like a lot of spell slots for <laughs> not a lot of scary guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, regardless, you guys, then, okay. uh, let's see, I see the line to Helios, was, was Helios still affected? I can't remember, or, I, I just, oh no, yes. it hasn't been his turn yet, no, so he, it's about to be his turn. Yeah, yeah that, Helios was the first one to hit it. To find yeah. out like what it does. Yeah, the Helios was unfortunately to... was the guinea pig, as I made the joke last time too. Yeah. Well, the entire um, the, the entire structure on that planet. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, the yeah, then I think it was about to be the vampire spawns turn. Yeah, I think that's why I left it here, is because like what was yeah, the Umber Hulks just went. I have their rolls, and then I don't know what Britchas D twenty rolls were for. Uh. Or did you just do that today, Bridgeshaw? One of them I did today, just randomly. <laughs> Alright, oh. sounds good. Just to see if your luck is good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here, I'm gonna roll... I'm gonna roll a d2. If it's a... If it's a 1, that means you guys are gonna have good luck. If it's a 2, I'm gonna have good luck. Ooh, okay. Uh, uh, glad, I'm just glad I got that one out of the cannon. Yeah. yeah. It's so over. Yeah. The, uh... Okay. Well, these vampires are gonna go. And they are just going to... Hmm. They're just gonna... I mean, they don't. They can't really make it past all the stones and the wasps. So they're just gonna start whacking at them. Uh, you don't wanna take eight attacks of opportunity? Are you scared? Yeah, yeah. They're... They do that a lot too. So <clears throat> each of them has two claw attacks. So we will just start. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is the wasp's AC, Bertrand? Is it like 14 maybe? Uh, 12. 12. Yeah, it's like, bad. Okay, damn. So almost all hit. Six of them hit. The two misses are also on the same one. So we'll see. The top right one was going for this one because it's already wounded. Uh, and it missed them. But the rest of them are going to hit their targets. <clears throat> the wasps do actually have more than the normal starting amount of HP. Uh, they have six more HP than normal, so 19. Which I'll add to the other ones. A few of them actually were wounded to the point of being below the, like, visibly, or not visibly wounded even, but like, to the point of below what they normally would have anyway, so it doesn't matter, but... <clears throat> uh, yeah. So, they will start, uh... They're gonna start slashing. Anyways. Okay. That actually will immediately kill this one that had already been wounded. So one of the wasps goes down. Next up would be bottom left at this one that was also visibly wounded. Also, or, uh, that one actually, yeah, actually was visibly wounded. That one goes down. This one doesn't have any wounded ones next to it, so it'll just be at... A random one it doesn't really matter, uh, and that one is now visibly wounded. So they're starting to take out a few of the wasps, but they are still overall surrounded. Uh, Helios, it's your turn. So, oh, let me get some combat music going. Just yeah, so you Google D&D vampire fight music. Yeah, just so you remember, uh, Helios. The work. yeah. So the way it works is. You can choose to avert your eyes from the Umber Hulks. If you do so, you don't have to make a roll to save against their eyes, alright? However, if you avert your eyes like this, alright, like, like it's free, it doesn't cost you anything. The downside is that if you try to attack them, you can't. And if you do any, you can't actually do any spells that require line of sight either, which is maybe a more important thing for you. Yeah, which is all um, because you're literally averting your eyes. You literally do not have sight of them, right? But the way it works with avert eyes is interesting because you can still actually do spells that target other creatures. 
You can do spells that target a point, that just say you see the point. But if it says you see a creature, or like, you know, the target is a creature you can see within certain feet, that means you would have to uncover your eyes and then take the effect. What if he just peeks up and looks at the little ant heap? No, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, you either are averting your eyes against the whole thing, or you're seeing the whole thing. What about yeah. uh, so you can't attack them at all if you avert your eyes? You can, you can attack. No, you just have disadvantage. Yeah, you can't cast oh, spells okay, that's that what require I thought. sight, right? It's that's, like you're blind yeah. to them. Mm. But there are plenty of spells that don't require line of sight, so... Like fireball. Well, no, actually, that one does require sight. But it's on Cast it your feet. Yeah, yeah, you can do that one. Good, yeah. You could do that, yeah. <laughs> it's not, not a wrong, not a wrong. How about... Oh, let me see. Ah, oh, see, like, this one's... Polymorph is a creature you can see within range, but yeah. it's right in front of me. Can I just... No. Since you have to Damn. see it, then... I mean, here's something I have allowed in the past. Well, and it wouldn't really matter in your situation. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> it would not help at all. All... You, the other thing is, you can always just risk it. Like, risk their eyes affecting you. And if you succeed on that, you do whatever you want normally, right? Mm -hmm. although, um, although, actually, how... I think you'd have to make two, because, <laughs> yeah, you have to, they're separate. Wait, what? Yeah, you have to do double the saves, <laughs> because they're, there's two of them. But only one looked at me. Wait, do they both look at me? They, oh, I guess... It's less of, like, them okay. looking at you and more like you looking at them is the problem. Okay, um, let me see. No, wait, if you were to cast an AoE spell, you'd have to make the save twice? Uh, no, that's not what's happening here, no. This would be like no, two different about... spells being cast by two different casters, basically, right? Hey, how is your guys' you... uh, wisdom? Mine's fine. That's my that's my spell casting like, abilities. Like, that's imagine true. this. This is basically the equivalent of two, ma two, uh, oh, no, two clerics casting hold person. So you have to save against both of them, right? That's a, okay. equivalently the same. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna think, you guys are smart, right? I'm panicking, I can't see anything. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to have vision for this. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, around me. Okay. So you're just gonna like, basically avert your eyes and be like, uh, zoom. I don't have to make the save because my eyes are closed. I can't see the pattern. <laughs> True. Exactly. I no forgot one... Talmo went in full sicko mode and closed his eyes. That is true. <laughs> I think this is a little big, but it's rough. There's nothing much else. Yeah, you can well, exclude me. Yeah, you can exclude uh, Duncan. But I. Just because you know? can. Okay, here. Yeah, you wouldn't. Oh, you, I guess you wouldn't know, so. <laughs> if I avert, well, I look at the ceiling and So just again, like, okay. technically averting eyes. Okay, well, if I, if I <laughs> center it on me, then it's like. Here. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. If you if you avert eyes, technically you could still again you can look around it to see other creatures. You could tell that a Dao is there, right? I'm Averting your eyes is like from a specific creature. You're basically you know, yeah. you're basically blocking them from your view, right? So. And I'm also gonna hit one of them. So then. With your mother. So, okay, sounds good. Well, uh, well, hold on. Uh, does that require sight? <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> fuck. Okay, those sheep was. Yeah, see, that's the thing is I don't know that abilities targeting mechanisms. I mean, what do you mean? Uh, I can't just shout obscenities to the wind and then hope that they hit the right person. You know, it just depends on how it's phrased. Uh, one creature you can see. So unfortunately, you cannot see them because you're averting your eyes. So. That's fucked that up. Creature? What did it bring you? So, you yeah, yeah. Damn it. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, you're right, not here, to, yeah. roll this much damage. Ooh, no. That's also, that's weird. That well, no, doesn't it, make any sense. Yeah. That, that's how it works, is that he's, he's choosing not to see these creatures. That's the whole thing, right? If you could see them, you have well, to make that this, makes sense. Yeah. Well, I, I can't be like, oh, like, I can't even look at you, and it makes him feel bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, yeah, you can't say anything insulting. Uh, it would make sense if it was like it has to be able to understand you, but being able to see it is a weird. It is a weird comment. Like, I'm not. I'm not mad. I'm just no, like yeah, it, it, it's, it's a re. It's a weird it's rule. It's set up weird. Yeah, it, it is weird, so bad. But... They don't even know what you said. There's like <laughs> I don't like the way he said that. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, uh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, it just unfortunately doesn't work though. Yeah. So um. Okay. Okay. So I won't try it then. So but I do the pattern. The hypnotic pattern goes, and that's gonna affect everyone. It also affects yourself, by the way, Helios. <laughs> so you I also. That's with my own eyes closed. Uh. I guess if you want to just choose to close I your eyes. I don't have to see for that one. That is, uh, that is true. You don't have to see for that one. Yeah. You could close your eyes. Unfortunately, the others can't because it's like, that. you know, you, you can only choose yeah, to avert like, on your turn or, you know, close your eyes on your turn, really. Uh, so, yeah, you can just close your eyes. That, that means uh, that they'll be closed until your next turn, though. Damn. So, attacks on you will have advantage. So it's up to you. Do you want to risk the attacks, well, or do you want to risk the hypnotic pattern? It can be hypnotic pattern on the care attack. Exactly. I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah, but just do I close my own eyes? Okay. Yeah. I'll decide that while you roll the others. I, but <laughs> I, I, Bree and Talva roll me a wisdom saving throw. I don't have to. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because you have your eyes closed already. True. So just Bree. Okay, that is the magic number. Yeah, uh, seventeen. That is your D your DC, right, Helios? Or is yeah. it higher now? Um, is your sheet lying? Mm. Actually, it might be lying because I know, like on other ones, it's usually. Yeah, let me look. I think we... I think it's eighteen now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Well, well, he was caught cheating. He was caught cheating during D and D. He was apparently. Same. I also <laughs> haven't used Sonic Pad in a minute. No, yeah. So let me. Let no, me yeah, it's, it's, that we've seen that happen before, where it just yeah. random. Like it doesn't happen to me, but it randomly for three so and Helios. It's eight yeah, I thought... plus proficiency plus charisma, which is five and five. Yeah, it's eighteen for you. So, okay. Let me see if I can fix All that right, real quick. Uh, That's weird. That it's only half. It should be. Yeah. Here, hold oh, on. Let me. I'm gonna mess with your sheet real quick. Just let me look real quick. I do like rules br lawyering against Bree. <laughs> uh, why? Oh, is it this? Hold on. You've gotten away with spawning too many creatures. Okay, now now try casting one of them, either one. No, I didn't do it. Okay. And now, <laughs> wait, now I messed that one up. Wait, I'm fine with this. Hold on, hold on. No. <laughs> what is going on here? Yeah, there's 19. Okay, no, I yeah, I missed it up. So then that shouldn't be. Oh, I see. But why is that not? Huh? Huh? Is it minusing one somehow? Huh? I have no idea. Huh? Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. I'll look into it. But yeah. Uh, anyways, for now, Bree is unfortunately hypnotic pattern. So Bree is incapacitated and has a speed of zero and that lasts until the spell ends or you take damage or someone shakes you out of it um so rip breathe but uh for now um yeah the creatures though let's see if they are not very wise oh. yeah they both fail as well so they and uh, let me check they don't have anything no yeah they're yeah they're affected so the creatures are both also put into a stupor uh they are both hypnotized here's a question mm -hmm. where are our allies standing uh <laughs> they well, some of them are probably around as long as they're not on the spikes or right next to us <laughs> yeah some of them are probably around you but then a couple of them are behind you So, we're not going to worry about them. We're going to say that they're too startled by this to... They're not helping this encounter. So... Dang, well, but that, but they're also not going to be affected by stuff like that, so... We need new allies. <laughs> they're too startled by this. They're like, we're not ready for this. Uh, they were they were surprised. Surprised um, for 30 seconds straight? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, exactly. Oh, we're going! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi, right, Helios. Uh... Yippee. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. Um, it's the giant wasps. They are gonna, I guess, just start buzzing and stinging. You want to do that, Britsha? Feel free to roll. Wait, could would 
could Helios not do anything else after? Like, could he move and, or would it be an action to like wait, me, like get me out of the pattern? Yeah, it takes an action to shake you awake. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. As a moment, there's an what item interaction. Like, what if I like <laughs> roll to like walk and choose to fail, so I trip into Bree, but then they might also well fall into the spikes. So never mind. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about that <laughs> one there. Uh, I mean, that would that would un incapacitate them. True. Maybe. Uh, Alright. The the wasps will attack. Do you, do you do roll six? Switch? Yeah, yeah, so it's six attacks from them. Or six. Do they have multiple attack? I Damn. Woo! These aren't too hard to hit. That will be. The two crits obviously hit. And there will be two normal hits as well. So feel free to. Yeah, roll the crits. Yep. Mm hmm. And then the two normal hits. Damn. Alright. Let me get started here. So, the. Yeah, the sting. Uh, and it's con saving throws. One, two, three, four. Okay. Two fails there. Okay, now we just go through. So. The first one was a crit. We'll go top to bottom, left to right. So this will be first. Um, this one got a crit, and luckily, because of your special summoning thing, they count as it counts as magical damage, which is good for you guys. Uh, it does a it does the full amount too, so full poison damage too. Uh, and that's the thing. Even even though these vampires, they uh, they might have some damage resistance and stuff. They don't, well, from what you can tell, they don't have resistance to poison. The poison, even though their blood is changed, being a vampire, it still affects them. It affects their body, even in their new form. Next up was this one. Or wait, was it? Yeah, this one. Hitting this one. Uh, oh, this is one of the normal hits, so I guess I don't have to do it in this order, but that's fine. Um... And they succeeded, so they take a little bit less, but uh, uh, still a bit. Next one was the other crit, which would be actually this one below. They also, let's see, I succeeded that one too, so they would actually take the full, or half the damage rather, uh -huh, from the second crit. Uh, from the poison specifically. Mm-hmm. Where that would be okay, got it. Uh, and then that's actually a lot. And then the last one, okay, got it. I've applied all the damage, none of them are visibly wounded. Um, these things you've seen these things in your first fight with them, they can take like a good bit of a beating. Uh, and also because they're not in sunlight, they are regenerating. So, mm -hmm. Bree, it's your turn. Unfortunately, you can't really do anything. All right. Can't take what, actions can I do? or reactions. So what can I do? I think literally nothing, because I'm pretty sure... It doesn't say you can't move, but I'm pretty sure if you can't take actions, you also can't move. Her movement speed's reduced to zero. Okay. Oh, That's part yeah. of the hypnotic yeah. passing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there it is. Oh, yeah. So unfortunately, yeah, you can do literally nothing. You sit, Bree sits there with her mouth agape. Oh. Stunned by Helios's uh, light show. Uh, Adal, what are you gonna do? I mean, genuinely, I think on her last turn she tried to attack me, so I think I'm okay. With that. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> There's something like that. Yeah. Um, Duncan, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna take the save? Yeah. Unfor I hit. Unfortunately, it's oh. charisma, not wisdom. Oh, whoops. That's okay. Wisdom. Can they make me uh, eat? Because they're I just clicked it. It didn't go. Of course. Uh, I, okay. Well, that sucks. Yeah. Uh, so you so you did want to risk it, knowing that though. You could change your mind. I'll, I'll let you change your mind. You could still, if you wanted to, knowing it's charisma. Um. But. No, I mean, yeah, I I, I probably would have gambled it, even though the the bonus is lower. Okay. But they, I mean. Can they not? Are they able to consciously be like? I don't know what it is on their sheet, like how they do it. Yeah, I'm looking at uh, it uh, because they're incapacitated. 
It doesn't say anything about that. It's just a, a innate part of their, like... It's, it's basically, again, it, it's as long as you can see their eyes. It doesn't have anything to do with them looking at you or and enacting anything. It's not an action, right? As long as you can see their eyes. And it doesn't okay. say... Like that. <laughs> so... What do you say, TSM? They're just like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, anyway. yeah. They're just built different. <laughs> yeah. So, in that um, case... Okay, well, yeah, that's my turn then. <laughs> well, no, hold on. We gotta roll a d8 to see what you do. Oh, true. I attack the nearest thing, and it's him. You could. Yeah, that would <laughs> be true. Oh, do I roll it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can roll it. That's fine. One d8. I'll let you roll it. Okay. I don't know what that does. On Probably a, nothing. Uh, yeah, it's nothing. You do nothing. <laughs> so you lose your turn, sorry. unfortunately. Woohoo! I... <laughs> Luckily for us, it's, it's the top of initiative! <laughs> yeah. Because we forgot the last three times. <laughs> well, <laughs> like I said, the, row, right? the allies <laughs> aren't going to help in this combat. They're they're stunned. Damn. Yeah, they're not well, going to get hurt either, though, so... Yeah. They all I forgot, fell yeah, I remember you pit. said that. I thought that it was just... I, I don't know why I thought that would have changed by now. No, but, yeah. Okay, well... Yeah. Uh, also... Uh, Helios, your stones are gone, or are back to normal, right? What? Because you did a concentration spell, right? Hypnotic no. pattern is concentration. Oh, shit. Yeah, they are. Yeah, and also this is sloped downwards, so they're rolling back to... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> they, they lost the momentum, so you're fine. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> that would have been funny, though. But, uh, okay, so Talvo, it's your turn. You still have your eyes closed, because luckily you have a blind sight. Yeah, so here's how it happened from Talvo's perspective. He closed his eyes, got a couple hits in, and then he heard the hypnotic pattern go off, yeah. and then nothing else. <laughs> Does it make it sound? Oh, well, yeah, because Bree hasn't done anything, Duncan hasn't done anything for a different reason, but you wouldn't know that. You're just like, it, and Helios is just sitting there with his eyes closed, too. Like, <laughs> Guys? <laughs> Uh, I'll just swing at this guy again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, you don't have an advantage, but you don't need it. So, yeah, incapacitated is it's one of those weird ones where it sounds like it would give advantage, but only like paralyzed does that or uh, yeah. restrained. Also, hitting it, hitting it does break it out of it. Yes. That is true. So, yeah. This one is visibly it's wounded, though. I will say, one this, them, one, yeah. this one has not been hit. The red one has not been hit, but the blue one is visibly wounded. Ooh, and that's an icky bad. roll. Not Ooh, bad damage, man. even with Those the are D6s. Damage. I I didn't roll higher than a four. It's and it was only one of them. a twenty-two. <laughs> and I will say, if you had rolled a little higher, it might be dead. But it is barely alive as is. Yeah. Um, and then. And now it's snapped out of it. It's like. That's fine. I'm gonna disengage and back up to see what the hell is going on. Yeah, fair. <laughs> You like you like kind of reach up behind you because you sense Brie there with your blind sense, and you, unfortunately you can't shake her awake. But you probably like you like accidentally hit her face and there's drool coming out of it. <laughs> <It's> like, uh, <laughs> oh no! Uh, okay. right, Kicked me on hill and I walked away. <laughs> I. It is now this blue one's turn, and uh, yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> This kind of works out in his favor because he these things are not super smart. They're like slightly dumber than the average person, but they're smart enough to know and have been trained and like given instructions enough to know that casters are uh, bad. And there's a caster right in front of it. It's like, Rrr. and so Helios, uh, <laughs> it will attack you. And your eyes are closed, which yep. means it has advantage. And I can't react. Right? Or can I? Uh, well, like, can I tell this thing's attacking uh, me? You can react. However, could you cast the shields? Or don't actually cast it, but like put it in here. Um, yeah. It doesn't require sight. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I can just be like, <laughs> yeah. Basically, you you yeah. basically just sense something coming in, and as it's about to hit you. But yeah, you maybe you don't need it. Let's see. So that makes sense. Uh, here's the two claws. Okay, and the I can do I can do the math this time. Seventeen plus five. <laughs> oh, twenty-two. 
technically you're flanked, but I don't think that would count because it's incapacitated. Yeah, no, that wouldn't count because it's incapacitated. Oh, I'm a god. I yeah. foresaw that entirely. No, yeah. So yeah. I use shield. Okay. So yeah, so he <laughs> just take goes them. and uh, yeah, you yeah, as you like hear the mandibles coming in to crunch you and the claws swiping. Like, Damn it, Talbot. <laughs> Um, okay, sounds good. Uh, and the good thing is that the other one is, uh, it, this one was, uh, had a potential to break its friend out of it, but, unfortunately, for it, that doesn't happen. So, other one's turn, it can't do anything. On to the vampires. Uh, the vampires do see this, and so they look over there, and one of them snarls out and says, like, we must help the, we must help the bugs. Um, and then one of them was like, wait, these bugs are attacking us. <laughs> and the, they're like, no, not these bugs, you fool. Anyways, uh, so they're going to try to kill these bugs, um, the ones that are attacking them. So, oh, they do regain their HP. Ho, ho, ho. And even though one or two of them were kind of close to being visibly wounded, now they're a little less close to that point. So they are, uh, the, the wasps are buying you time, but uh, aren't doing too much, actually. Um... We'll start with left to right, top to bottom. Um, two claws on this one. One is a hit. Ten damage, which is not enough to kill that one. Uh, and then the right, top top right one. Ooh. Yeah. And it'll be going after the one that was already injured, which is this one, which is enough to kill it. Uh-huh. Let me see. Uh, also, let me zoom in with the stream view, I just realized. Um, okay. <clears throat> uh, that was the second one. Next up, bottom left. Two hits. On this one, not enough to kill. It has three HP left. And then bottom right, we'll go after the wounded one on that side. I think that'll be enough to kill it. Oh, well, actually, yeah, just the first one is. So then the second attack will go with the other one. So this one is dead, and the other one gets wounded. Okay, uh, half of the wasps still remain. Helios, it's your turn. Yeah. Okay, so my eyes are closed. Is it an action to open them? Or no, is no, you just, it's weird. basically at the start of your turn every time, you choose okay. to either keep them closed or risk it. And... Being incapacitated does nothing, because they're still technically there. Yes. Damn. I did not think that one through. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately their ability is just like a... You know. It's like a... It's like a, you know, like a... A frog whose skin is venomous to the touch. If you if you paralyze the frog, if you touch its skin, that property is still working, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's the, you know, something like okay. that. You said he's close to being dead, right? Yeah, the one here is close to Would being dead. Would this work? It's C and here? Mmm... <laughs> no, I mean, again, you could risk it. Uh, I hate sight. You could risk it, but it would require sight, so... <laughs> so it could be at the wrong person? No, no, you just, like... Basically, yeah. you could, if you open your eyes to try and get sight, yeah. immediately you're gonna be affected by it. Uh. And then it's just down to whether or not you get affected or not. Remember, it is charisma save, which you are good at, so... Yeah, true. Okay, what If about... anyone has a chance to, like, you know, be able to do stuff, it's you. Hmm. Isn't conjure animals, um, concentration? Uh, well, Breeze has been hit, though. Like, and I don't... She is... Do I anything? don't think incapacitated breaks concentration, does it? Oh shit! All I right. think I think it actually doesn't. You have more room to weird, concentrate on. It. It's a weird one, um, but I'm pretty sure that it doesn't break concentration. Although maybe that's not. The case. Oops! I didn't click that. So I don't know. <laughs> I am looking at all my spells, and they're all C C C C C. Mm -hmm. This is a. I mean, a weak point. <laughs> maybe, um, maybe just try and hit yeah, him. According maybe. to uh, stack exchange. Um, it you lose concentration. Oh shit! Damn. Yeah, it's on the player's handbook on page two hundred and three. If you want to check. Damn, I should have read oh, that. Okay. 
Yeah, my bad. <laughs> I didn't read the fine print. Okay, it doesn't... Oh, here. Oh, yeah, here we go. It also doesn't count towards flanking, so that was the right ruling there. So, to not count it for flanking Helios. Good. That's what I figured. Does not cause disadvantage on range attacks. Got it. They can automatically be grappled and shoved? I didn't know that. Damn. They lose concentration on spells. Damn. So, Helios, shove him in the pit! Shove him in the pit! Shove him in the pit! <laughs> <laughs> you could do that, but I think... Well, you, you I could, was unironically going to do that. Yeah. I would have to look at that. I don't have a very you high strength. You though. don't. So you automatically succeed. A grapple. <laughs> oh, that's. Uh, yeah, I guess that's true. When it says automatically, I guess that just means that you just shove them. Yeah. Fuck, I'm gonna push well, them. Well, well, because here's what I was gonna say is that it would be <laughs> technically it's a grapple attack, which means you would have disadvantage. But if you automatically succeed, like you don't have, you don't even have to look. You can just shove them without looking. You have disadvantage, but it just succeeds. So it's. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. I'm gonna push okay. them. <laughs> so, so my it, my, my cannon is he looks like oh fuck he tries to run away doesn't realize it's right behind him <laughs> and just like, stumbles into him. So he's <laughs> the, so the, the here's the thing though, I am gonna make you do an athletics check to see because this thing is still big to see if it is like goes like halfway over the edge or if it goes hmm, fully. Can over. I do any other row? Just kidding. Okay. Oh fuck, it's a you know, plus one. Fifteen Not was bad. the number you needed. So I'm going to say oh, that Helios just is like, My weakest one. just pushes it out of instinct. The thing will actually go, Aah! and it, it gets impaled. It's actually still alive, uh, but it's very hurt. Uh, it's very, very hurt. Um, uh, and it's like kind of trying to work itself off the spikes, but yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to avert my gaze to... Wait, did that? Okay, did that count as my action? That's grin. That is or did that just like that is stumble into him? Damn it! Okay, never mind. I'm gonna look at Bree and be like, "Oops." <laughs> <laughs> Bree is still just such a ruling idiot. <laughs> hmm, hmm. Hmm. I'm then, gonna yeah, say, I'm by gonna, the way, though, uh, yeah. Can I be like here now? Can they like? Sure. Yeah. I'm gonna say that the wasps are gonna disappear since they should have already disappeared. But I'll, I'm not gonna reverse the last round that the vampires did against them. Uh, yeah, fortunately, though, Bree, yeah, would have lost the concentration on the loss. Uh, but it is Bree's turn, who is still incapacitated, <laughs> right? Because it doesn't, it like, Pattern doesn't have a save again, right? It's just... Nope. nope. It's, um, yeah. yeah. Whatever. So, so unfortunately, Bree, since no one is shaking you out of it, Bree is still just like... <laughs> Alright, well, Adao, it's your turn. You... There's no more friendly fire. Sunbeam. Yeah. Well, do you want to risk the the sight first, or does it no? Okay. I'm not. I'm not sunbeaming the Umberhawk. I'm sunbeaming the vampires. Oh, okay. yeah, if you're, if you're so yeah, you can just avert your eyes from the yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Um. And let's draw it. And just gonna go. Yeah. Now you should have no problem hitting all four of them. So, oh, okay. Because I think well, it's like five. I was gonna try to angle right? myself somehow. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. Uh, I don't remember how to make them. Then sixty foot line. Yeah. It's a it's a um, beam. Oh, it's a five line. feet. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. There you go. But if I do well, that doesn't work either. But if I do it somewhere between that, yeah, then if, it would get. If them you both. hold Alt, it'll let you do them. Yeah. That's there good. you go. So yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Plus, it doesn't even have to originate from you where you your center, so you can do it like this, which is like perfectly getting half of each square. Which True. Is, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it, it totally works here. Um, so. And then I'll do the aura for myself. Okay. Yeah. And so you just go, boom, and the uh, and a sunbeam engulfs these things as they scream in uh, in pain. One, two, three, four. Is that right? Is that centered on me? Uh, it looks like uh, they all fail, by the way. Yep, they all fail, so they all take the full amount. Nice, nice. Uh, that does put two of them in visible wound range. Let's go. Yeah, that shreds them. Uh, two of them, are this one and this one, are visibly wounded. And in any case, you see their regeneration stopping as they start getting literally dissolved and burned up. Uh, then one Swag. Yeah, uh, alright, well, Talo, your turn. 
you you with your blind sight you sense one of them getting shoved by Helios and then yeah and you move over. No need to. Twenty two again. And... Four. <laughs> Jesus. Christ. Oh my god. <laughs> and Talo just comes in. Luckily, it only. Had... Oh, wow. Talo That's it, bad. It, it had two HP. Luckily, so <laughs> <laughs> so you come in and luckily it was about to attack a Dao and a Dao had averted his gaze so it would have had advantage. Uh, so, uh, luckily you save a Dao from getting snapped from behind, and you go, and you find a, you find a gap in its armor, and just, it just goes, and seizes up. Okay. That one's dead. So, I assume this other guy is just, like, it should be sort of prone, right? Like, he went flop? Yeah, he's, he's also below, like, there's an edge, and then it's like a ten foot drop, actually. He's, like, below you guys ten feet. He might not even have enough movement to get up here. Cool. Okay, well, how much movement do I have left? Like 25? You know, like, I'll go up here with, with him. Good. And we'll ready up the wild elegant maneuver. Sounds good. Alright. Yeah, the the other Umbra Hulk. So one of them's dead. The other one is their turn, but they... Uh, they, I will say, like, they use their action to kind of try to wiggle off the spikes, but it's going to be Painful. hard for them. Wow. <laughs> they actually rolled really high. They uh, natural 19. They're actually able to kind of go like, and lift themselves up off the spikes. And then, like, kind of, like, they, they do a burrowing ability. Right? So they slam one of their claws into the wall of the pit, like, below Helios and Bree. And they're going to start clamoring up. They kind of, like, are hanging right now below the ledge. Like, right below you, Helios. But is it that's not suffering any, like, poison Damage. effects? It or is. Anything? It is. But they're slow. It seems like this thing at least has some amount of resistance. And they're just taking effects slower. But you can tell its movements are being slowed. I guess I guess neither of them can. Because Helios averted his eyes. And then Bree uh, is still hypnotized. But yeah. So, uh, but yeah. Anyways, that, that's its whole turn. The vampires are going to run forward and try to stop the sunlight that is burning them. Or the sun that's beam old. light. Yeah. Which is, let me look at the description. Does the aura... What does the aura do? Oh, it's just the light, right? Oh, but it does say this light is sunlight, so this one does count as sunlight. Yeah, so they all take 20 damage, oh, I think. God, yeah, let me look. And on. then they have, like, disadvantage and, like, the eye of advantage on them and stuff. Yeah, it's crazy. It's when, sunlight OP. Yeah, they take 20 damage when they start their turn in sunlight. So they all take 20 damage immediately as they're literally getting burned alive by the sunlight. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, there's the sound of sizzling vampire flesh. Uh, they will all take that immediately since they're all going at the same time. Um, that almost kills two of them outright, but this one will then have a chance to run up and try to just stop you from doing this. It lunges forward, it will attack you, but it has disadvantage, so I'm not expecting much. Yeah, no. Your AC, what's your AC, like 22? Something ridiculous? It's 24. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and, and that's without shield of faith too, right? So, damn, yeah, Adao is a fucking he's the he's the fucking tank, dude. So, um, yeah, so this one like it, yep. you, you just like Indeed. easily block its attacks, and it snarls, um, and the other ones I guess are gonna try to run in and like attack as they're desperate. They can't really run, uh, so yeah, they they can't really reach you though. So they're gonna attack at Talbo instead. Tabo still has his eyes closed, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't, yeah. Like, doesn't, doesn't need to close yeah. anymore. They so now it's just normal. Well, no, he can still oh see them with blind sight, so it's still Holy disadvantage. Holy fuck! Oh, that's true. Yeah. Wow, one so of them that's actually hit. only one hit them. Yeah, damn. Yeah, one of them did get a lucky hit, though. Nine damage. Yeah. You're oh, fine. No. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah, Helios, it's your turn. Okay. So... You haven't heard Bree doing anything the past few turns. That's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna shake Bree awake. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You like reach out. You like uh, probably without even opening your eyes because you're still being cautious. You reach out. You're like, oh, 
<laughs> you don't need to make a save or anything. It's just. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh no! It'd be like, accidentally oh, knocks Bree into the pit. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, so Helio shakes Brie. That's even fun. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, you're fine. Helios, you shake Brie awake. Luckily. Helios, are you still keeping your eyes closed? Because there is one that is clambering up to you still. Um, I don't think they I, have to. Like, can you can just I, like, look in the pit? Look this way. Well, that's, counts, <laughs> that's what I mean, is it counts as averting your eyes still, right? Like, you're averting your gaze from it. Okay, well... But that still like, means that it ha that still means you don't have sight on it, technically. Right, I'm going to do it without, because I know that Bree's right next to me in this tiny hallway. So you're going to risk it? Yes. Okay, roll me a... Well, in that case, you might not even be able to wake up, Bree. Because that happens first. It's, it's at the start of your turn, you choose to avert your yeah, eyes. Not, I don't want to get dragged into the pit. Okay, so you're going to risk... <laughs> okay, so Bree's not awake yet. Well, maybe. Can I Can I try to wake up Bree without my eyes closed? Like a, I guess... Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll allow you to shake her awake, and then open your eyes if you'd like. Sure, we'll do that. Yeah. Uh, roll me a charisma save. Yeah, you're fine. You oh, yeah. resist it, so you can move freely. Dippy. Mm -hmm. But you did use your action already. Yeah. Have to wake up for you. I mean, I'm gonna look around and like survey the, like the like. Oh shit! I did that. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, well. Tabo is going to hear that, turn around and look at the thing like, you did that? I don't know. My eyes are closed. <laughs> <laughs> Who's drawing a box? <laughs> anyway. Uh, I get, who has inspiration? I'll give somebody one. I'll give Brie inspiration because I accidentally lost three of their turns. Okay, sounds good. I'm like pretty useless in this. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll give you inspiration. <laughs> it is Bree's turn now. Does Bree choose to avert her gaze from yeah, the. Yeah, let's run it again. You might just, like, never gonna save this. Yeah, you're not gonna. Me? You're just gonna, like, risk it, okay? Yeah. I... <laughs> Let me go check. I'm pretty sure that's not enough. Yeah, that's not enough. Roll me a D8. This is oh, wait, wait. You have. Back back yeah, well. you have Helios' bonus, though. So, wait. You can add that. True. Yeah, do I roll that or Bree rolls that? Uh, you can choose either way. Uh, Bree, you roll. It's a D12 now, D12. right? D12. So you have a- you can roll oh, a- Oh, honky. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Not a D12. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn. 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 Right, first first you want to get 112? Oh, nice. Or no, what is that? 106 <laughs> on my D20 roll? Yeah, no, uh, I got, uh, 23 more than enough to save. So, yeah, Helios' words of encouragement let you power through this thing, this game. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So now, and you, and so now you can look freely, and you see it clambering up towards you from the spike pit. Mm -hmm. That's um, good. Canonically, I had no idea what was going on, but also I wasn't paying attention. What actually happened? So, Helio shoved this thing into the pit, and now it's climbing out of it at you. Method okay. Acting. Uh. Okay, um... You I think put I... a bunch of things on top of it and just like smack it back onto the spike. Bro. I'll, uh, yeah, elk fall. Operation Elk Fall. Just, we just assume that she'd be stuck like this the whole battle, so she wasn't prepared. Uh... I would say you could try to like shove it back into the pit. If you want. Could you like make some like weeds grow and like stick it to the wall? No, but I can make two octopuses. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna mind. conjure animal. <laughs> Keep in mind, you uh, yeah? you don't know how many more vampires are awaiting you after this. No, that's fine. Okay. I can handle two giant octopuses. <laughs> oh, oh, so you're gonna summon the I to check. They they can breathe. Uh, they can breathe uh, on top of. They can breathe for one hour. Out of. The they can hold their light. breath. Okay, sounds good. Uh, so two. <laughs> <sighs> hold on. These are big. <laughs> You just gotta have like on top of it and next to it, like as best as you can. Yeah. Okay. 
And what's the plan? Is they try to just drag it in with them into the spikes? Yeah, just hold it back, attack it. Okay, that's fine. Honestly, I really like this image. I've been trying to climb up, and a big wet octopus <laughs> just plop. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say honestly, at this point, taken directly from the ocean. <laughs> yeah, at, at this point, we probably don't even. I'm not even gonna make you make the roll for that because, like, both of them together are easily gonna be able to just go like and just pull it down with their weight. So you don't even need to make a roll for that. And you'll you'll hear a, you'll all hear a nasty like <laughs> as there's like. The, the octopus is getting spiked as well. Like, one of them is on top of the other one, too. They're, they're pushing this thing down, though. It's just like... It's a crunch of the, the kite the kites in a shell. It's just a nasty sight and sound to behold. It's costly. Are we the baddies? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that it definitely works, Bree. And this thing is not dead yet, technically, but it's, it's very close to being dead. It's on the way. It's on the way out. You don't even need to roll them into initiative. We'll assume that on the octopus's next turn, they would have just bashed it in to finish the job. So, uh, so we'll go on to a Dao then. Last thing is these vampires. Um, not anymore. Uh, well, depending on this roll, is that good? Six sixty-eight max of forty-eight. So that's technically above average. Okay. And Let's go. Let me see. Oh yeah, assuming they all fail. Oh, I guess technically this would and... not be. This would be normal technically. So one of them succeeds. The last one. Why would it? There, but why would it be? Do they? Did the sunlight not give them disadvantage on saving? Oh, actually, curves? let me check. Maybe it does. No. Undead have disadvantage on this saving. It's so. disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks, not saving throws. Okay. No, Sunbeam well, literally says undead have disadvantage. Oh on what? The saving oh, there's throw. a special thing for Sunbeam, Bruh. Oh no, I forgot about that. So thank <laughs> you, right. TSM. Jesus Christ, fuck yeah, yeah. So it's not even a vampire thing; it's just an undead thing, Bruh. Yeah. yeah. So they all fail, and that kills Ooh. three of them instantly. <laughs> and I'll just say the last one is the one that like managed to get up to you and almost claw you. They have one HP, so I'm not. Yeah, really... I'm, I'm actually. I was gonna say, I was gonna skip my turn and just let it die. Yeah, honest. exactly. I was gonna say, like, it basically is just like at this point, like, falls to its knees and is literally like turning to ash and dust in front of you. Like, I'm like, like, gonna attack it. I'm just gonna like, yeah, and slap yeah. Let's it in the just face. let it. Let's yeah, just let it die. Just like poke it over, and it just like completely disintegrates. Like, whoosh. <laughs> and uh, as mostly, that happens. Yeah. You hear the crunching of more shell as the octopus is just going and just like slam the thing into the spikes. The octopuses would then climb out and they're going to be like a little bit injured. So if you if there's more combat, they uh, how long does it last? An hour, right? So you can have them run for a while. Yes, an hour. Yeah. So we're going to say they're both down about like uh, oh god. Right. And they're then both... we'd have the might to summon our thing, so... Yeah, uh, oh, that's true, yeah. Hold on, yeah, let me see... Giant Octopus is... Oh, that's a lot of HP. They have 16 extra HP. You know what, to make it easy, we'll just say they take 16 damage, so they're at their normal amount. Which is probably about what it would be, actually, so... Yeah. So, the the octo... Octo... Octopussies? <laughs> the... The... <laughs> the, the octopi... Are uh, are here, so nice. Uh, and yeah, only a little bit hurt. And oh, that's the combat. The rest of your group here picks themselves up and dusts themselves off. Also, wait, actually, weren't some of the group left up top? Like the Rileys were, right? They're holding the gate open, right? And guarding the yeah, gate. Yeah, Big Riley is, and then a the lot big... of them. They're basically all up there with some of the. There's probably two dozen. Up there, um, yeah, guarding the entrances, like yeah. the like the tunnels. Yeah, yeah, because somebody somebody did sending stone as the incoming. I think. Yeah, yes, they did. I think it was Rockheel. Yeah, or they something. used sending. They just used sending, not even from a stone. They just sent a message. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I say we just we don't continue. Uh, I think we just go back up and then Bree cast earthquake and collapses the entire thing because fuck Lady Valeria. <laughs> Yeah, come. Oh, I, I want to host you. Can come here. Come get. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, ambush twice. 
<laughs> That's not a coincidence. Yeah, you know, let's go up to her throne and leave her a note. Hey, come visit us at our castle, since this is like how we conduct business. And then you, we'll just attack uh... you on the way. <laughs> yeah. Uh. What was I gonna say? Um. Actually, as you guys are like kind of discussing this, uh. Roll me a perception check, actually, all of you. Oh no. I should fail because anyway. I never find where this roll is on my fucking sheet. There you go. Um. Damn. Adao and Helios, you both notice that in the like recess of this tunnel that the um, one of the umbrellas just basically pushed through to reach you guys around the pit um there's a bat hanging upside down watching you it's gonna cast rabies he, he doesn't get uh he's not burning no it seems like it's an actual bat like it's <laughs> okay but you notice that it has a uh attached to its back like tied around it is a is a little like scroll. I don't want to read the right paper. I'm sick of this bitch. I'm, I'm... All right. <laughs> this We're middle school with passing notes. <laughs> Do you guys take the note? The bat like oh, yeah. I'll angrily. Okay. You think I'm my... you check yes or no? Check. <laughs> True. Do you want to be a vampire? Yeah, yes, no, maybe. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll open it. And, yeah, you open it. And then I'll shoot the bat away. Okay, yep, yeah, it'll, it'll just go away. Um, and the note says... <clears throat> says, Welcome to my domain. Oh, by the way, I did actually find the parents of that little runt. I have them here, and I'll take great care of them. How did she know... How'd she put tone into the text like that? Are there, are there tone <laughs> indicators? <laughs> tone indicators? She got just a smug little chibi drawing of her in the corner. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she has like the little tone indicators. Actually, actually hands together. flash piece of shit back. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so anyways, uh, I'll take great care of her. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you received this Reactive message and then, uh... Yeah. So... I'll take um, good care of them. Okay. I will have them for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He writes out. Hey, um, hey, hey. Uh, I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Well, we're gonna get there, there anyway. We're, we're gonna what anyway? So, well, we're going to her anyway. So. I was saying we just le we go up to the surface, get on the castle, and then earthquake it. So. All of the tunnels collapse and they all die, or have to dig out painstakingly with no blood over the course of several weeks. Hmm. Yeah, whatever you guys want to do, my spell slots look fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm chi I'm chilling in the spell department, but I'm all right. Well, so if I did that, I would be wasting like that spell slot. Why wasting? Well, Earthquake is 8th level. Yeah, well, it's not wasting it. Because it would kill several dozen vampires. Bro. I think. I'm pretty sure. I just want to use it in, like, our next combat, but yeah, I could do that then. Well, we wouldn't come back in, is the thing. We would just leave. <laughs> but her parents. Yeah, but like, there would be no time. combat. No, about the parents, though. That's, I mean, that's fair. Well, uh, fair. <laughs> only the thing, they've been sidetracked for the past three, uh... <laughs> I don't like fighting vampires, <laughs> so I've learned. What are that... you you're uniquely equipped for? It. <laughs> that's, I, that's true. I am literally uniquely equipped are, to fight yeah. vampires, and I it, it's probably because I hate them so much. Fuck vampires, dude! Oh my god, that was as, seething. As far, as far as the kids' parents go, like, oh, dude. Valeria killed him. That sucks, man. Shit. <laughs> it's not like I told them I could bring them back from the dead, and they're dead. No, uh, I mean, I don't know. I could, uh, I could always, while we were in cave, earthquake. Yeah. The the rats. Oh, when when know. the rats hear, uh, the rats hear. Before you do that, <laughs> the, the rats hear like all this discussion. 
And they both kind of, like, start going up to... They try to get your attention, uh, Bircha. They, they get Bree's attention. Like, they go, like, onto her hands. Like, or, like, her arms. And they start going, like... And they're trying to get your attention to, like, basically communicate to you. That's, That's really one. funny. I, I was reading this D&D post about how every time a party would capture a spellcaster, they'd cut off their hands so they couldn't cast spells. Yeah, that's that's what they do in the Witcher universe. <laughs> Break hands or cut them off. Uh, anyways, though, so yeah, sorry. Uh, so, Bree, uh, does Bree pay attention in the little... Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, and the... The rats are ba- they basically communicate to you. They're like, we don't want to, we don't want to abandon the kids' parents. They hear the plan. The rats understand. They're like, like we we made a promise to the kid. They're like, they're okay. like, imagine the rats are like, what if <laughs> the rats like communicate to you? They're like, like what if we, you know, what if we were lost? Would you break a promise, or you know, how would you feel if someone broke a promise to get us back? Yeah, but you're different. <laughs> the rats are like, meh, meh. Is the kid near that? <laughs> the rats, are, the rats are not happy. We're different. You're worthwhile. I don't know. Ask Rook what I do to capture the allies. Yeah, can we um, what's it? Send, uh, talk to him again. Can we yeah. start Rook again? What do you do? What would Rook I was going to scry the parents. I was just going to scry, because I have the picture of them, so I was just going to okay. scry them. Okay. With the ball. With the crystal ball, that is. After we leave, after we we go upstairs. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I don't want to do it down here. That would be that would be not smart. Yeah, that's fine. It was, it was a fairly short distance, anyway, so you weren't that far in yet. Can I Indeed. look for so the we'll bring cave back up. they ambushed us through as we were, like, heading back? Yeah, as you... Go back up. You, it, it's it was basically just a hidden tunnel that was like, or actually, what you could tell is that it wasn't Secret even like tunnel. a, yeah, it wasn't even a, a like a, it wasn't like a cover or anything. It was actually like just a a section of wall that was ready to be punched out with enough strength. Like it was a, oh, a also, connecting tunnel, right? So I also want to pick up my two pythons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pissed off that I tried to do one helpful thing. Well, one of them is in the spike pit because it got like. Destroyed. No, it was on the other. They were on both sides of the side. No, yeah, but like, remember the one like burrowed into the wall and it came oh, loose. He and, did. Yeah. Oh, he yeah, did. No, I just picked him up the drone. Yeah, I guess I guess you could work it out there. You could walk. It's, 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 it's a fucking pit. It's a python, dude. Come yeah. on. Um, <laughs> Break the game. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys go back upstairs into the like the actual keep where the stairs and then tunnel down start from. Your companions up there will like make sure you're all good and then watch for you while uh, Adao will cast uh, Scry on the parents. Right? Yes. Okay. No, I forget. It's not teleport. I don't... Oh, wait, no, yeah, I do need all that and all that stuff. Like, they have modifiers. Um, yeah, I guess that's what the... It would be pretty... But you have a picture of them, so it wouldn't be too hard. Yeah. So here, I'll roll on... The... So that's a minus two for them. Unless he has a possession or garment of them. Mm. Or a body part, lock of hair, all that stuff. Okay, okay so it's just a minus two on the save. Yeah, they fail, so... Okay. You see them. Uh, in fact, they... they oh yeah, they couldn't, they couldn't succeed. Yeah, actually. and the reason why, by the way, is because vampires do have some bonuses to like wisdom saves and stuff, but as your scrying thing goes... Zoop, you see both of his parents restrained but alive and I don't just mean vampires but they're humans they're not turned oh I guess they're like feedstock um, you actually have a little bit well, of vision here and you actually see other humans around them bound to like poles and yeah, they're basically being used as feeding posts, it looks like. Damn. Do uh turn them into vampires? Do I have dark vision through the crystal ball? You I think you have all your normal senses, yeah. So hold on, real quick. Okay. Quick, someone raid. What's up, buddy? Yo, the dogs.
Yeah, you can see in here through the sensor as if you were there. Hating. Yeah. Swag. He was a baby. He was just crying. Okay. Oh yeah, sorry. So. What are you gonna ask? Uh, Doug How many of them are there? Or No, I, I didn't. Uh, I... I don't know what I, I was gonna ask them if they were feedstock, but I can obviously tell that they are all feedstock. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, if it was guy. just those two in the throne room, and I'm, I would be like, hmm. But uh, how, yeah, how many people are there? Well, I think uh, yeah. So scrying, like I think you could, you could just see a normal, right? Yeah. Um, it's yeah. as if he was there. Yeah. As if you were there. So you're in as like if... this, uh, in this kind of chamber. Um, uh, there's actually probably there's at least a few dozen humans that are unturned. Okay. And they are all in pretty bad shape though, because it looks like they are basically just used for this only only for this purpose. Uh, also, there are actually a couple of them are being fed right now, and they are being fed this like uh, what you see like one of the grunt vampires feeding them, right? Yeah. But it's like, it's no food you've ever seen. It's this weird sort of like gel, like jelly, it looks like. That's kind of being slurped into the mouths of these prisoners. And as that's going down, they're like, that are... they're like Sorry, coughing no. and stuff, so it clearly doesn't taste very good. Yeah. Hmm, um... Is there like a, a leader vampire? Like, does it, does any of them look stronger than the rest? There's only a couple grunts in this room that you're seeing. A and couple, as in two, like literally two. Yeah, just two. <laughs> and it's in a, uh, it is in a, what appears to be some part of the tunnel cave system. Hmm. Roll me actually okay. a perception check, though. Anyway. Okay. As you're looking at this, though, you also realize that these tunnels look slightly different than the ones you were just in. For one, it looks like to be much deeper down, just because the rocks and stuff are different. But also, the style of tunnel is different. Does this look not rough hewn? Or rough hone, or whatever? I don't know how to say it. I think it's rough hewn. It is. It is hewn in the same style, but the size and, like, general shape of it is different. Okay. They're a little bit bigger than the other Hole clubs. Hmm. Okay. Well, while I'm here, I'm gonna, uh, suggest... I'm gonna attempt to suggest one of the vampires. Um, I'm gonna say... Uh... You know, the... Your buddy... Or, or uh, your colleague is a traitor to Our Lady, and you should kill him. Okay. This specifically, even though my DC is 19, with the crystal ball, it's 17. Okay. Yeah, because it's through it. So, uh, you say that, and it's a wisdom save, I'm assuming? I believe so. Okay. They fail, and they are... Not the brightest, because they immediately turn and go like, "Yo, traitor!" and they just lunge at them with their claws <laughs> out. And luckily, the other one, uh, luckily for the other one, it had a second to react. And all of a sudden, it goes like, Ugh! and they basically just start clawing at each other. And the other one's like, "What the fuck are you doing?" The prisoners are looking on like, "Like what the fuck?" Okay, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, then I'll begin speaking telepathically. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say like to one of the ones that's far away. From yeah. the fight, so maybe if he reacts, he's like, "What the fuck?" They don't notice. Um, and so I'll, I'll say, "Hey, hey, you! Uh, I'm scrying your position right now. I'm not a vampire." Uh, this one is, is like, "Oh, what you mean?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're Britain, got it. Uh, sorry. What's that? Um, What's scrying me? <laughs> I'm looking at you, but I'm not there. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, do you? Did, do you know how you did, do you know how you got down there, like so that I can come there and rescue you? No, can't say I do. <laughs> okay. The moon Thanks. of north. And is I'm, gonna, I'm gonna move <laughs> to the next to one. <laughs> uh, I'll just I'll like I'll, I'll just go down the line and, and be like, hey, 
<laughs> you know, I'm I'm a, someone with an interest in killing vampires and saving you from them. Yeah, uh, um, and I'll go and, and I'll ask them all. Eventually, that I can see. eventually you find someone and they're like, "Yeah, no, I I was uh, I was conscious when they dragged me down here." Where are you from? And do they drag you far from your home? He's uh, he's like, I'm from the from the town from Rolliger. Oh, um, oh, okay. I see how it is. But all of us are, uh, as far as I know. Actually, there's a, a few that are from nearby villages and towns, but most of us from Rolliger. Okay. And did they bring? Do you know where they where the tunnel was? That uh, like where it begins, that brings you down there. there or could the, you give me any directions once you were underground, like how to get to you? It would. Paint, it would try to paint this. This person would try to paint a picture, but it's gonna be a little difficult because they, they would tell you they're like, they're like the, the the things they, they keep digging new tunnels. They've been busy. I've been down here, I've been down here a couple years now. Rarely will they ever let us. Sometimes they'll let us get exercise in the tunnels nearby, but we're near the, we're near the the nest. Oh, that's that's great. Okay. Um. Okay. Well. Follow the the we have our ways. creatures. You can if you find them. Oh, they would know. Well, they'll 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 attack you if you attack them, and they'll come from the direction of the of the nest. Hmm, that's a smart plan. <laughs> Yo, yeah, we're near the nest, beyond the world's edge, season 4, session 10, let's go! These are the line! Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, alright, well, th well, that's useful, actually, so we can we can probably... Wait, the nest of the digger creatures, or of the vampires? I guess of the vampires. It's... So the, I don't say that. Yeah, it's... It would be like the diggers, they they have their own... You might want to give them a... I... I don't... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like... They're... Weird bug things. Okay. Um, we'll get to you, I guess we'll get to you within the day. Don't worry about it. Like within twenty four hours, or it's will be free. Down there. <laughs> or it's free, or your money back. Okay. Um, or your blood back. Um. But yeah. Okay. Well then, then uh, I'll wait until one of the vampires dies, and then I'll. Oh, I'll, I'll say to the parent, I'll be like, oh, yay, hey, your son's alive. I got him. He's not a vampire. We're chilling. They'll be like, <gasps> yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> yeah. And they start crying, like tears of joy, to at least know that their son is, like, okay. He's, he's kind of a shithead, but emotionally. he's alive. I and just we gave him some good food yesterday. Suggestion is concentration, so you can't do that and scry at the same time. Well, it's a special feature of the crystal oh, ball. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, like, specifically through it, right? Yeah. What is it? How does it end then? <laughs> How does suggestion end? Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Whenever, when the, one whatever, whenever either it dies or it's because I suggested it to do something it's, like yeah, that, or, uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I think it's. I actually don't know. Oh, yeah, it's eight hours. Yeah, my yeah. bad. It's eight hours. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah it, it, it ends or oh, whenever, wait, no. whenever they do it or eight hours. But it also says, it says you don't need to concentrate. This is from the crystal ball. You don't need to concentrate on the suggestion to maintain it, but it ends if the scrying ends. So yeah, so you don't. Have yeah, to... that's why I was saying I'll wait yeah, till one of yeah. them dies. Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, well, <laughs> I guess we have to see which one dies. Uh, <laughs> so I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna... I can wait. I, I can. <laughs> I can be like. Uh... Like when 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 the one that I didn't suggest is about to get attacked, I can be like, "Hey, fuck you!" <laughs> so I'll try to knock it off its game. <laughs> okay. Match fix thing. Okay, how about this? All right, we're gonna do. Right, I'm here, not wait. a bard though. So. We're gonna do a D100, except hold on, except that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're gonna do a D100. You want evens or odds? Um. Evens. Okay, evens. However, you get an extra one out of the hundred. Because, because if it rolls a one, that also is for you. So it's evens oh, yeah. okay. or one, you win. 
You can roll it. And then odds, anything that isn't one for odds, my guy wins. The other one. Okay. Let's have, let us be. Yeah, and the extra one is the, to reflect that you can be like, hey, and talk to it. Yeah. Throw it off its guard. <laughs> uh, ben. Let's go! Evans, all right. So, you, uh, your guy wins. Nice. The traitor has been dealt with. And then I guess, yeah, I guess then he would just go back to his normal thing, right? Because he's like, <laughs> hmm, in the wind. He's like, uh, so he's like, yeah, he's like <laughs> he probably realized, like, he snaps out of it. He's like, what? Because he completed the course of action, right? That's how it works. So then he's like, <laughs> yeah. So he's like, he's like, what the fuck? So he's like, I, what? <laughs> why did I do that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I guess he was a traitor to Lady <laughs> Promise. <laughs> yeah. <man>. yeah. <laughs> So okay. he was really traumatized when he became a vampire. Not yeah. gonna lie. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. So one less vampire to deal with, uh, I suppose. True. And one, and I, he's probably hurt too because they were evenly matched. So yeah. Okay. But um, yeah. That then I'm trying. Okay. Sounds good. And at that point, yeah, you can. Uh, are you just going to start heading down the tunnels again? Uh, well, there, so you said there are a few dozen. Uh, there, I'm guessing they're all willing, you know, to, to be out of there. Mm, do you guys think that's? Do you guys think it's worth a wish to free several dozen people and deprive the vampires of their feedstock and then cave in all their tunnels? How? Well, what's our risk factor for doing that? Uh, the risk is that I won't get my second wish. Fair, okay. That's basically it. There's a yeah, it's a one in three chance, I think. Yeah, it's a, if I ever, yeah, I can't ever cast wish again. Um. So, <laughs> eat like regardless of uh, bless you, regardless of the source. So yes. it's pretty, you know, and that role I don't think can be modified in any way. I would say. I will. Uh, I shouldn't tell you about this. How long does it last? Did I ever? I, I don't is, think I ever got a DM inside or anything like that. So never mind. I was gonna. There is a spell called Gate. That's true. I know. I knew about. I know that. I know <laughs> that one. Because I don't remember. Does Wish let you do? Uh, yes, uh, dude. I was literally thinking about the hither thither staff, but it's this. This although, is what I, this is what I want. Although, yeah, the wish is specifically eighth level or lower. You can still do ninth level ones, oh, but bruh. it still is above the scope of the free. I inspire a roll like that to be like more helpful. Mm, Have a better chance no, of it working. Unfortunately, not. Damn. What if I do this? No. Okay, that's not <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I would doubt on that. Bit so yeah, I, I, I couldn't remember if Gate was eighth or ninth level though. That was what I was. I was pretty sure it was eighth, but nope, it's ninth. It is very powerful. So. Oh, also, but yeah, that's yeah, true. Especially because if we do it during the day, then have fun, um, or have fun stopping us. Uh, but okay, I also, if I cast Wish and do anything other than duplicating, wait. The stress of casting wish to produce any effect other than duplicating another spell weakens you, and if you and if you suffer that stress, that is what causes there to be a thirty-three percent chance to be unable to cast wish. So based on that, it it conflicts. That does it, like that is it directly contradictory to the basic use of the spell, being to duplicate another spell specifically of eighth level or lower. No, it's so. Well, no, no, it's just. It's their, they, yeah. There's there's a thirty three percent chance that you're able unable to cast wish ever again if you suffer the stress, and the stress is caused by doing anything other than duplicating another spell. But it doesn't say that that spell has to be eighth level or lower. <laughs> I mean, it's technically true, but I feel like it's referring to the earlier paragraph about. True, but when have we ever done rules as intended ever? <laughs> It's well, always rule as rules written, as, baby. I think it's a rule as written. It's just it's just uh, referring to the earlier paragraph about the duplication use, which specifies a double. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, also all that other shit. If you want to read Wish, if I get a bunch of malices for the next few days. Uh, yeah. If I cast it and do something else. Um. Well, I'm not doing that then. But uh. But we could um. Uh, I don't know. We could teleport there and then have. I don't know. This is that's tough. We, we are not gonna teleport there and not have a way out. I'm gonna tell you that right now. You can go. Well, we, that's fine. No, no, no. We, we have two teleportations. We have two because we have yeah. Helios has Satan's hat. There's a spell I could have called Dawn, which is a minute long, uh, just beam of sunlight. Um, I'd have to I'd have to prepare it for tomorrow. You could tomorrow. use date and put it on the sun and then. <laughs> Wait, is that what the other party did? That, the other party you could do that. did do that on accident. <laughs> well, they didn't do it, but yeah. they let someone have a portal opening artifact, and then that dude was a crazy sun worshipper who wanted to be with the sun. And he went into the middle of the group's town that they ruled and t opened a portal to the sun and caused a mini nuclear explosion in the middle of their town. I was going to say, that would level everything with, like, yeah. within several miles. Well, it was like a split um, second at a very limited size portal, but it did cause a mini yeah. nuclear reaction. So, yeah, the players... Does that the, mean... <laughs> the players does that, that mean the rest of the planet got to see, like, Aura Borealis for a little bit? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> But like the, the well, no, that's actually well, not well, what happened. Well, the, the, I guess it would. No, it would. How the plasma dynamics works, it wouldn't. Yeah, the the players oh, yeah. Uh, really cool. The players had to like they they paid the families of like the victims of the explosion like a massive settlement. <laughs> whole, like bureaucracy <laughs> episode where they like they like paid a settlement. They had to regain the trust of their townsfolk, and then they built a massive fucking tavern out of a giant turtle shell in that spot. Nice. That's pretty sick. <laughs> yeah. You know, just How big grabbing. was the crater? Uh, it was like pretty big. I don't know, like 50 feet wide maybe, or 30, 40 feet wide, you know. Yeah. So. Damn. Okay. So <laughs> yeah, for, for, an, for the sun. <laughs> yeah, but okay, anyway. Um, I I think it, because it gets, Helios can teleport, wait, but Helios can't teleport everybody back. Um. Because, you know, there are dozens of them. Yeah. Uh, okay. That could be teleport... Heli oh. Helios teleport in and then gate or whatever. No, no, it, it... Well, no, gate, so gate is... I'd have to wish that. It's a ninth level spell. Um, and at that point, I should just wish for them all to be at the castle. You know, I'm yeah. not gonna use gate to do that. And then, cause then... I, I, you know what I think that we're gonna do is, um... Sleep. First, because we need to regain our high level spell slot. Do we? When you but were scrying, when you were scrying, did you see any trees? No, it's uh, I. Well, I'm gonna guess no, no because it was underground in pure rock dwarf fortress style. Yeah, a tree. It been an underground tree. That's true. Probably, there might have been fungi down there, but that's probably it. Yeah, there was like maybe. Is that I could transport via plant? Yeah, there might have been some fungi, but that's about yeah. it. So. <laughs> transport via small mushroom. Um, so my plan is to, uh, actually I'll do this right now. I'll do this before we go up to the castle. I want to go to the center of town and cast Locate Creature on the parents. Or, well, the mom, because I have the picture of her. Kay. Not that I need it. I... But whatever her name is, actually, I think is all I need. Yeah, remind me of what lo Locate Creature does. I oh, will I put it in Red chat. thumbnail arrow shows up to Sorry. <laughs> Bless you. Thanks. Now, every okay. creature nearby goes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> True. Uh. Yep. You don't. You don't get anything. Damn. Bruh. Fucking okay. underground river. Um, Should be. Yeah, could be someone else. A direct path. A direct between. Well, if it's an underground river, I'm gonna. I, I think I'm gonna. I think of that. So I'm gonna go to like the northern tip of the town, and then cast it again in like so I can maybe try to triangulate. Because yeah. I, I think I have three level four spell slots. Yeah, I do. Okay. So I'm gonna then I'll so I'll do that. <laughs> you go over there. A doubt's running around throwing up ender eyes trying to find the fucking nether portal. <laughs> you go over there yeah. and nothing. Okay, I go south. Nothing. 
Um, okay, well, I'm guessing they're just more than a thousand feet underground, which is ridiculous for hand-carved stone. But vampires are stupid and dumb, and they probably don't care about their slaves. So they just make them do it and, you know, break their uh, backs. I mean, it's, not, it's, it's not hand oh, carved. It's the, it's the, it's bug carved. the Umberhall. Yeah. yeah, it's bug carved. Oh, that's why it looked weird. It wasn't because the vampires are doing a weird stone carving method, which is what I thought. Because I'm a moron. Um, okay. Well, the thing is, he told you it looks different, deeper, and it's bigger. Which tells me there's something bigger they can bug. Bigger bug. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna commune. Okay, um, seems fair. And, what am I gonna ask? God. Is this shit Fuck if I know. <laughs> yeah, I'll say, uh... You for okay. real? <laughs> yeah, are you for real right now? No, um... <laughs> I guess I'm gonna ask, are the... Like, the feedstock humans that I just saw via scrying more than 1,000 feet under the surface of the planet. Yes. Okay. Um... Good question, yeah. Fair, get to the point. Well, yeah. Maybe I should have done that before I wasted my 4th level spell. Uh, but it's okay. We brute force. Um... Are the tunnels down there, where the feedstock are, created by Umber Hulks? Or, well, the bugs I saw? No. Okay. Good question. Or are they made by the vampires themselves? Hold on. <laughs> um... Okay. Give me a second. Fucking vampire bugs, dude. Goddamn. <clears throat> I yes was, I and no. <laughs> yes and no is the answer. Okay. Interesting. Mm, rules as well, written have to be yes or no. No, um, no. It actually. says in a case where a one word answer phrase. could be misleading, the GM might okay. offer a short phrase as an answer. Hmm. So I'm guessing that means vampire bug. Because it's not the vampires I'm thinking of, but it is vampires. So that's... That's a bra moment, if I've ever heard one. It's fucking Hollow Knight down there, dude. <laughs> what am I gonna fight the sun? I do have three questions, right? Not five? It's three, yeah. You can also okay, cast yeah. it again. There's just a one in four chance that you... Don't yeah, I get, get nothing. An answer. But there's no other like yeah, it's I... not like wish there's no longer penalty, it's just until the next day. Yeah. Uh yeah, it just awesome. leaves you on red. Yeah. An awesome question. Mm, I mean if if uh Dow can ask me. No, I mean, yeah, yeah, I, mean I, I just can... Oh to, to you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> uh, cause like um, how much could Bree know about all this? No like oh. with her like knowledge of nature and then about like also like as the wanderer where I like have really good memory yeah. of like terrain Roll and stuff me like a nature check yeah okay i would say brie the brie wasn't able to like see the tunnels or anything but you know uh, through the well, could it, I've described it. Exactly. So with the description, you're still able to kind of start thinking, like, what are some other burrowing things that you know, right? And you're able to think of a, of a few. Um, and then you kind of remember... Uh, you remember one, one specific creature that likes to live in hills and mountains and forests... Uh, and this is a pretty hilly, foresty area. So, you're like, okay, wait, you think you remember a creature called an Ankeg. An Ankeg. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's spelled like this. Okay. And you remember these creatures. They are, they're pretty large, and they are kind of like, 
kind of like ants or some other sort of insect. But they, or like a praying mantis mixed with an ant almost. Um, and you remember these, you remember, uh, you remember these, uh, like seeing these things before. You've actually ran into some in the forests back to closer to where you, where Bree grew up. Um, but, uh, when you ran into them, they were, you ran into like a couple like lone hunter ones. Cause sometimes they'll just be on their own in the woods with burrow traps, right? Basically, they're, you know, they're like ant lions, kind of. I think that's the closest uh, thing, actually. Like ant lions, right? They, like, set a trap, and then, it, you know, you basically, they just go, Whoosh! when something goes above them, right? In the woods. Um, but what you've actually heard, Bree, is that there's rumors that occasionally they will have colonies of them, where it's not just a lone one. But there will be colonies with a queen that have, breeds more. Oh, no. And you've heard that apparently, like, you've heard rumors about these things and about how apparently the tunnels they leave behind uh, will last for hundreds of years and are sometimes used by other creatures and can be massive sprawling complexes of tunnels. Okay, I got an idea, guys. Make it a really big block of aluminum and melt it. <laughs> <laughs> I can heat metal it. They're actually oh. tin. I think tin works too. That also has a pretty low melting point. Or I thought cheaper. about just, uh, like if, I, I mean, I don't know how we would do it. I don't think it's really feasible for us. Probably feasible only for 20th level god characters. But if we were somehow able to, well, we might be able to do it if there's a river nearby. Like uh, on the surface that we saw. It would take a while. <laughs> there is there? Is, there wasn't any major rivers there. It, it's it's too far up for there to be a, a major river. Yeah, well, we don't need that much water. We just okay, a creek. Okay, I was thinking maybe like a stream yeah. or something, so, like something somewhat sizable like right, that you wouldn't be able to walk through. But you're kind of like right at the like the ridge line of this mountain range, so you're kind of high up. Okay. Um. All right. Anyway, what I was gonna say. Vampires take damage in running water, and they also presumably don't really operate well in underwater. So I was just going to say we fill the, sun, the tunnel systems up completely. Uh, but then I, I didn't. Then that was me operating under the assumption that uh, wait a minute. Oh no, yeah, that was me operating under the assumption that the kids' parents and all those other humans were actually vampires. Like before I scried, so we can't do that. We cannot <laughs> drown the feet dog. Is what I'm saying. We're pretty fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why don't we take a little break here? Like, <laughs> yeah, I got about this. <laughs> While you guys are thinking about this, uh, let's take a quick little break. And as the group is lost at that, I mean, this is this would be again in the. The evening of this day where, you know, you did the fight, you explored the town. Now you're back in your castle in the safety of the, the castle, uh, presumably. Um, and, yeah, we'll come back in a second and see if, what the group If we sleep, I could have commune with nature. I don't know if that would help us. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it does. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> oh. I haven't added it yet, so... Oh, in, in underground settings, it's limited to 300 feet, though, so... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, all we'll hear. We, we can get to that, but we'll be right back. Break time. We'll see everyone in a second.
Hold on. So oh, anyway, oh yeah, we're back. <laughs> oh, sorry, we're, to fill you guys, uh, fill you guys in. Uh, we won. To fill you guys up. Um, <laughs> no, uh, I. Right, See, that's why you need the jar emote. No. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, fill you up no. with the. Uh, all right, no. Um, we. <laughs> so, uh, Helios is going to try to do legend lore, and I'm going to give you a free mini DM insight, which is. There is probably one specific thing or aspect of this situation you could name. Because basically you just like say the name of a person, place, or object, which is what it says, right? If you do that, there is... I would say there's one, there's one thing that would fall into something you could name that would get information. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Oh, uh, no. Well, you said you had two uses, right, Helios? I have three. Okay, well, <laughs> we're gonna use one, them, exactly we use one of them. We want to use one of them on that bottle of wine. Yeah, but before we do that, I think you could maybe do the fate of the <laughs> the fate, like the fall of Rolagor or whatever. Yeah. Like that event might give you information about what happened to the residents. That. Okay. That would definitely work. Okay. Um. But it wouldn't give you too much new. Um, it would be, it would be like a brief, like flash of like, like time almost slow down for you, and you would be like flashed a bunch of images, almost like little video clips of the attack, where you actually see Lady Valeria and her right hand man Axel just marching in with a few of their first vampire spawn, and just slaughtering the villagers before them. Um, taking them, like, you know, just, uh, and biting them, feasting on them. You see the images of that. You then see the images of Lady Valeria slowly but surely building up forces, ambushing more people that came into this town unsuspectingly uh, uh, before uh, it was known about that it was a dangerous place. Then you see, you do see tunnel work being done. You get brief glimpses of tunnels being dug, and you see the Umber Hulks that you had just fought, a few of them working. And then you see the Ancades, the thing that Bree had kind of remembered and known about. You see the Ancades, Helios. And they are these, again, like big ant lion, praying mantis, ant sort of creatures. And they're big. You see a few of them working, digging tunnels. And that's about all the new information you get, except I would say it's pretty clear to you there's a lot more tunnel work that went on in the town than maybe you realized. That would be the the, the one maybe new thing that you would glean from this. I'm thinking I need to like talk to like the head the head anchor guy, whatever. Okay. You know who's who's the chief of engineering of the tunnels? Well. Right? I mean, if, if do you remember uh, what I said that Bree would know? Or Britcha, do you remember what I told you about? Yeah, Britcha, what do you remember? What do you remember? Sorry. What, do you, <laughs> do you remember the thing I told you about the Ancades? What about them? I mean, I can't tell you. you know, it was, uh, they just came back. Like, they were... Uh, uh, these are like these are colonies, which is new. Well, it's not new, queen. but it's unique. Then where's the queen on keg? They're gonna um, die. I don't... I'm gonna. Do these are. That. I don't know. I I'm just know they're use... different from the ones that you used to know. I'm gonna Welcome cast the it again and be like, hold on. on. Is there a queen? Okay. Queen on keg. And immediately, you do see images of the queen and keg, or this queen and keg, and you realize, like, oh fuck. You literally see a mental image of the queen. Normal ankegs maybe are like nine, ten feet tall. The queen ankeg towers. She's taller than Kasaria was. Maybe not bigger or heavier, hmm. but she is massive. The queen ankeg is underground, and you see a massive nest, a breeding ground. You also see line like uh leaders, commanders, commander and kegs, that each of which is like also like fifteen feet tall and are pretty massive looking. 
and the queen seems to be like you you get these images and you actually see images of where Valeria first interacted with the Queen Anne Cade. You see their first meeting. And you see Anne Cades being turned into vampires. Oh god. <laughs> hey, so uh, if we have any other side quests you want to go on, I think I think it's uh, we could, you get to do that, you know. Yeah, I'm technically uh, only a termite. I'm not fighting bug fires. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a termite infestation. Let's just like burn the house down. Like... Start again. No. Yeah. Uh, um, erm... Could I wish for a meteor to hit this place and level everything and collapse all the tunnels? <laughs> um, no, I don't. There's a, storm, there's a spell, meteor storm, but it doesn't do that. Yeah. Unfortunately. Wish for everyone. Well. But you, he didn't see the people. Not with these legend lords. Was, that's just too specific and it's not really related like... to the overall thing, right? So. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm gonna one. try to commune, I guess, because I, I guess I have a bunch of them that I didn't sure. realize I had. Sure. And I'll try to get the to see if I get that any information. Um, okay. And I'll ask: uh, Is the lord or the previous ruler of Rolagor still alive? No. Okay. Yeah. And I rolled, by the way. So Is there you, any... You got lucky. Okay, or... so I do get stuff? Yeah, well, like, once I you receive an answer, you... Because I don't think it's... It's not one of those where they lie, right? Where you get false information? Yeah, I, I think that, it's that, just... That's another one, I think. Yeah, it's just that you either get no answer or... So since you get an answer, you know that you have two more questions now, right? So... Swag. Yeah. Um... Ba -ba -ba -dee -ba -ba. You get no answer. Okay, yeah. Because I guess I'm communing with somebody, so it's not, yeah. Or, I'll let, you know, yeah, ostensibly. Although, mm -hmm. true. For, I mean, we've, we've described it as it being like the magic weave that impermeates the land. Yeah. However, my god is in this dome. So, you yeah. know, maybe. But, uh. It's, it's one of those things that it's not like they're not having to consciously answer the phone every time. It's more just like an aspect <laughs> of their. Yeah. It's an aspect of the projection of their force. So, like, you know. Yeah. Depending on how involved they are, I guess. But, yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, I guess for in some pantheons, a minor god who gets one question from a believer every, like, 30 years. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my Why? god, someone actually worships me. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's funny. Um. But okay, my second question. Is there anybody of note uh, held in the feedstock area that I saw before? No. Hmm. Uh, for, he <laughs> for Helios to get a legend lore that gives him an answer or shows him visions of a way to get to the feedstock would he have to ask about a person? Mm. Possibly. Okay. Well, so I guess there are just multiple. Uh, I tell that to Helios, of course. Hmm. Alright, that is my spell. I well, that it down. So... <laughs> yeah. Well, I got no ideas beyond that. The person. I'm trying to think like some notable people. I mean, there's Lady Valeria herself, but I don't think that will help. I have no ideas. That's okay because it's wine bottle time. Yeah, I was gonna say, what if we, what if we legend out. lore the bottle and we find out how it freaking got there and it's important? Yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna use legend lore on the bottle of wine. Okay, that is actually okay. something where it's like, it's not a super legendary thing, but the fact that it's so odd and out of place here means I would think it, I think it would qualify. You quickly are given like a Pixar like. <laughs> 
it's like in a Pixar movie when they like do like a random yeah, sequence of like some random bullshittery that somewhat tangentially relates so the camera can go on this crazy journey following an object as a like a leaf floating along but instead of that it's a bottle of wine and you actually see it on the deck of a a galley ship with oars hundreds of oarmen uh in this case slaves rowing it it's not talvo's ship actually um you don't see talvo here but through the like perspective of this bottle it's almost like you're inside the bottle looking out <laughs> a bottle in the ship <laughs> yeah you see the captain's quarters of whatever of a of a of a like some sort of warship here um and uh or if it's not a warship it's like maybe a privately owned warship but in any case a very big important ship um and you see uh you see a man with like a feathered cap probably like a merchant of some import Yankee Doodle. um and he is uh evil talbo he's <laughs> he's uh he, he actually kind Bad of end. he kind of looks a little <laughs> similar to talbo actually um but anyway see uh the in terms of like like skin tone and some stuff but anyways he um he, the guy is drinking some wine, same type, but a different bottle. Uh, and all of a sudden you hear cries from above deck. It's a stormy night. Uh, and you hear cries from above deck and this guy, the, the captain or whatever he is, uh, owner of the ship, maybe whatever he is, runs out on, on the deck and, uh, and you can, leaves the door open and you see a wall of glimmering gold light in front of the ship. And the ship is approaching the light. And the, the, the dude yells. And he's like, he's like, turn starboard! And they start turning uh, to the right, which is starboard. Uh, <laughs> they, no, they, uh, I wouldn't forget that. No, and they, they start turning that way. Um, and it looks like they're about to slam the wall. And the ship, it does. It bash, bashes up against the wall. At an angle where it doesn't get completely smashed. But the bottle of wine and a bunch of other stuff in this room gets flung out of, like, the shelf it was on or whatever, or a basket it was in, whatever it was in, and starts rolling around. The ship kind of tilts to the side. A wave crashes into the back uh, of the ship where there is actually a, a fine glass window. Like, the ship is nice enough to have glass windows. and it, the But it crashes through the window with this wave, and the wine bottle is swept out. And as you're swept out to sea, you see all of the... Uh, lots of the people being flung overboard, but the ship looks like it survives. And the wine bottle floats off and floats through the barrier. And you see this from the bottle's perspective. So for whatever reason, the bottle is allowed through and the bottle keeps floating. And I got it. And at this point, it, it okay. fast forwards for weeks and weeks and weeks, months and maybe, until the wine bottle eventually washes ashore and is found by... A little halfling on the coast. Do I experience the entire month? aged. You experience it sped up. Like you can, <laughs> I, I, yeah. I said, it's like it's been like months. And I'm trapped in this, and then I come back and I'm like, hey guys, it's eternity in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I got it. I got it. So oh, yeah. polymorph into a worm inside the bottle through the barrier. Win. <laughs> hmm. If you describe the ship to me, would I recognize it? I will describe the ship to Talvo. You describe... You didn't Very see a ton, well. but you, there was an image That's seared safer. into your brain, which was of a, uh, of a coat of arms, a flag, like, f fluttering in the stormy wind when the guy opened the door. Yeah, uh, right. And you... Uh, yeah, they, oh yeah, it would be intelligence. You have a rough idea of what it, the coat of arms was, and you describe it. Talva, you actually do. It does sound familiar. It was the coat of arms of your family that he saw. Oh, I don't care then. Never mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Straight up, don't care. I was wondering if maybe it was the ship that Aya's sister was on. Mm. Oh. But she'd been sold off to somebody else, so I don't care. Mm -hmm. Fuck them. Good for it. Yep. I mean, I have slaves, but my dad's a dick. <laughs> Oh yeah. So, um, yeah. So that's how the wine got to this part of the world, which is the main the main thing of note about it, right? Which is why that's kind of what you saw. 
Like, other than that, yeah, you could, like, skim, you, like, fast forward in your brain through what else happened to it. Nothing else would not happen. It was just, like, a halfling was walking on the beach and found it. He traded it to his buddy for, uh, in a game of poker or something, and then it got traded to a caravan. Someone you who actually... spit the bottle somewhere? <laughs> yeah, it got traded to a caravan owner dude who, uh, knew that it was worth a lot. He's like, oh, shit, this is a rare bottle of wine. And he took it through Robulger, and then they got ambushed, and his whole crew died to the vampires. Hmm. So this is bad. This probably tastes really good. That's about it. Yeah. But okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to bed. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hard day of learning. Yep. And you guys would, uh, for sure, uh, yeah, you're, um, you are, uh, you're fine. Except Helios wouldn't have to describe the coat of arms. He'd be like, oh yeah, it's the thing on your sword. That's true. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He would recognize it because uh, you have the family. No, seal no, no. I, I think what would happen with, with my shit intelligence rule, I'd be like really struggling to be like it had like a like a sword on it, and then you would just be like <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. After like five minutes of trying to explain it, yeah. The um, the night goes without incident. Until, in the middle of the night, you guys are woken up by your alarm bells ringing. And you all rush out of your rooms to your defense spots. Where you see that the castle's under attack. Or rather, it was. Because by the time you get out here, your crew have already dealt with it. Uh, it was... So, it, it looked like it was a couple vampires who were basically being carried by the cloaker things. The big, like... You know, uh, suffocating carpets that fly. <laughs> um, the uh, no, yeah, the, the cloakers were carrying some vampires, and they dropped the vampires like airdrop them into the castle, not knowing that it's forbidden for them to enter. <laughs> and so, actually, I guess it, like they couldn't. They literally can't go inside the keep because there's doors, and they like aren't invited, right? Like vampires are at least weaker. <laughs> at least weaker vampires yeah. aren't but, like. No, but they landed on top of the roof, and they were going to start, like, just killing all your sentries, except that they start literally burning alive. And uh, so apparently your guards are, like, freaked out, but are actually totally fine. The cloakers themselves aren't forbidden, though. And so they're, they're as you guys are running out, they're still kind of finishing up the cloakers. But with your whole crew, you know, without the vampires helping them, the cloakers are easily killed. So you don't, you don't, you don't even have any deaths among your guys. A couple injuries, but nothing too serious. So luckily your uh, forbidden is... Uh, yeah, it was a good investment, we'll say that. <laughs> and, uh... Oh, shooting star! No. You even see a couple more of the cloakers. Yeah, no, it doesn't expire. Yeah, a, a couple of the cloakers were coming in with more, but the vampires are like, shit! And they're like, oh, turn back, turn back! <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, the rest of the night, after that, I'm assuming you probably, you probably still double the guard out of, like, caution, uh, or at least, uh, swap out people or whatever. But the rest of the night yeah. passes without incident. Um, so, yeah. I got one hit dice back. <laughs> nice. Because he only used one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I. Right. You guys are, uh, so yeah, you wake up, eat your breakfast, and you're you're fine. What's the play? <sighs> Do we tell Bo that we found his parents? Maybe not. I don't know. Bo would probably come up during breakfast and be like, "Like, oh, did you did you get them?" No to that. Nope. <laughs> what yeah, you say? No to no to that. So far. Oh yeah, yeah. Nope. Uh, not yet. But we will. He's like, okay. I think. He's like, I, I'm. He's like, I. He's like, I, I think you guys will do it. You guys seem strong. That's true. We we definitely we although, are strong. Although there was that big one. Are you? Are there any more of those big ones? That one was scary. Um, hmm, that's interesting. I'm gonna guess that. Uh, How did you know I'm gonna about guess that? that. Well, he was there when he yeah. was. At a tent. Well, he was there. Oh, 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 like okay, he was right, hiding right. in a tent, yeah. but he's still. You know, he he's a kid. He's like still poked out. You know. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna guess that there is a statistical majority of those down there, because 
God hates us. I'm, I'm just I'm go run along. <laughs> You're talking to a six year old dude. <laughs> <laughs> kid, actually, he's seven. The kid is like the kid is like one of my friends told me God doesn't exist. Okay, but you know he's who an does? Idiot. I, Santa Claus. <laughs> He will always be yeah, there. Yeah. God is dead, but Santa's real. And then one of my other friends said that he literally met God, and he's a big boar dude, but I don't know what that's about. Yeah, I, I met that guy. Um, my <laughs> God like, isn't him. <laughs> yeah, Corvac is pretty at cool. him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's him right there. <laughs> that's a, yeah, it's actually crazy. You can meet God. I mean, I don't know if I consider Corvac a God, but like, if you know, you can meet them. They exist. You can go be like, yo, what's up? Um, wow. Yo, what's up, G? Yeah. He's like, well, if you can uh, meet maybe, them, maybe your really friend's god doesn't then? exist. That's true. Uh, <laughs> very highly that's not electrical a, that's subject. Not a question. Oh, hey, oh, I know how oh, to answer this. Bo, oh, 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 it's nine in the morning. You're asking big questions. And I haven't had coffee yet. Yeah. It's I true. like to think that he's just um, asking these. Theological just a, debates a, happen after coffee. He's yeah. just in a place like he's just coming from a place like, oh, I wonder about this. But then you <laughs> now, to be yeah. fair, though, kids do ask really weird questions. Yeah, just yeah, whatever exactly. they, really, they do. It's actually very yeah. realistic. Here, no, here, Bo. I'll get you. I'll get you a definitive answer, and then I do like a. From his perspective, I'm just gonna do like a meditative pose for a second, Eyes roll and then up. be like, yes. Okay. <laughs> Uh, or no, but I want to commute and ask that question. <laughs> you gonna ask that? Okay, what do you? What do you? How are you phrasing it? it I'm gonna god phrase it how real. he phrased it. If you can meet them, are they really a god? Um, which I, I mean, I feel like it doesn't actually matter. This if you can has meet them on I think they are, but like you know, <laughs> it's funny. It would really commune. Whoever's answering you probably has a little bit of skin in the game. It would <laughs> yeah, say exactly, exactly. Yeah, totally. <laughs> It would say yes. I mean, okay, well then I'll just so exactly what I said. I do a little, I do a meditative pose for a second, turn back, and say, "Yep, they are a god." You know how I know that because I just asked God. <laughs> I just asked Was one. He, and he said it. Yeah. Okay. Um, is this God in the room with us right now? Okay. Uh, <laughs> do you guys have any, have two other questions that we should ask? Uh, yes or no questions. Hmm. Not really. Okay, is Santa real? And I'll I'll ask like the if there's a local equivalent <laughs> of Santa from yeah. Floria, I'll ask that. Sure, yeah. Uh, the answer would be yeah. The the kid would have. We'll say the kid would have told you about how there's this legend of this this elk riding dude that brings presents. Yeah, I mean, that, honestly, that sounds reasonable. Yeah, a flying um, elk. And then uh, when you ask it's real, the answer is yes. Hmm. Yo, what the fuck? It's, it's almost so crazy. Cool. Wait, it's, it, it's like fall, okay, right? Let me write this in my notes so I can like, remember. It's like to fall, right? It's going to be Christmas soon. It's going to be Christmas soon. True, for, for our have... Christmas session. We're going north. We're going to the North Pole. We're going to meet Santa at the North Pole. <laughs> and we're going <laughs> to... He's actually not. He you doesn't actually a... bring presents. He is a flying elk rider guy, but he just kills <laughs> children. He's a serial killer. Krampus <laughs> just kills. No, he's <laughs> all bad. No good. True. No uh, reward. Another question is: Was that a long rest? <laughs> yes. Now the last question should be: Has that kid been a good boy this year? <laughs> yeah. Which was is he on the body or nice <laughs> True. Yeah. yeah. It's easy. Okay. If if that's if the legend actually goes like that, then yeah, I'll I'll ask that. Is is Bo on the nice list? No. <laughs> he did steal shit. No. He stole a lot of shit. Yeah. Okay, he stole a lot of shit, but it was funny. So he's on the naughty list, but it's for funny reasons. So, it's fine. Yeah, the, the answer might be okay. like. Santa's it might like be more like kind of. Anyway, it doesn't even matter. Okay. Um. All right. Well. What's your now I, I would ask. Time. I guess I would ask Roxy because I've been having her hang out with him while he's like, like a little dick while he's been up here. Has he been like okay? Man, like, is he like <laughs> just, seems okay? stri- just just seems out being near him? Or is she kind of like yeah? Meow, 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 meow. Uh, which means <laughs> yeah, which, which means that he apparently stole a uh, half of a wheel of cheese and then hid it in his like quarters you gave him. <laughs> How are you able to speak with the cat? familiar. 
Yeah, it's like oh, oh, a oh. telepathic connection. It's like, you know, you know how you just meow back at your cats and you probably are saying something <laughs> that, that makes sense? Yeah. True. Tax evasion. <laughs> I could totally cheese yeah, it and have it like, scouting for us all the time. But mostly it's just like, it's a cat. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> It's okay. a gay couple, so they can't they, don't, they can't have kids, so they should adopt that. <laughs> yeah, you can uh, adopt a child. This is in the United States of America. <laughs> I mean, you it's, also uh, yeah, you suck. I mean, yeah, you, maybe you could find <laughs> a way. You could find a way to have kids, maybe magically. You know, I'm good. <laughs> I can't take it myself. We don't need to go down that rabbit hole, though. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, so what do you guys, what's, what's the play? What's the plan about the, the fucking the tunnels and the, the AK? <laughs> right, the cop. <laughs> well. Yeah, uh, we were gonna ask you, if you going your, to you your path end was gonna be faster right? or not, but instead we burned questions on his Santa reel. <laughs> well, you're, that's okay, important. You're right about, you're right about that. So. I did kind of forget that I was going to ask genuine real questions. Um, Bree, you have the... What, what's the thing you're not thirded on the other, in that other cave? The Pathfinder thing? Oh, Wonder Up. Yeah, Bree doesn't yeah, yeah, but that's, that's for memory. Can you... Oh, so yeah. it's like I have to have seen all this stuff before yeah. to like know yeah. I can... Or if I have a map of it, I, I, I like can... But we don't have anything. Would you send in can you twenty-four use... cockroaches <laughs> to scatter in ever in different directions, <laughs> and then they come back and relay what they saw to you? In cockroach? Uh, <laughs> yeah, in cockroach. Is there something like that that we can do? We could like send out a team of animals, of, like we can make them bats too, because I mean I'm sure bats are normal in there. Oh yeah. Yeah, what well, wolves? I mean, they're going underground, like thousands of feet underground, to find the nest. They also have to make it back to tell me what they saw. Yeah, so that's why I think probably either a bug or a bat. You know, a oh, bat would be faster. True, bat would also be faster, and they probably have like bat-specific tunnels. Which the bats would be able to find because of the location. You could also be a bat, and we can do the thing that definitely worked last time for the. Um, true. Where you went in early, scouted, yeah, true. and then we teleported to you. I think that would work. It's just, I'm thinking we need breath as well. Because uh, Poetry said there are. The, the, the tunnel network's way bigger than we thought. Yeah. So Bree could go in, and 24 bats could scatter. Does anybody have the tech seismic waves that could just make a map with their. <laughs> True. Right. Is that what we, we have? Well, we have someone who can generate I wish I had a waves. map of these caves. Well, what would we send them though? We don't have like an opening to. Yeah, we do. We have a bunch of openings. We've got like okay. the, the one in the cavern. We've many, got the three. The three in the keep. Yeah. We have. Uh, there's probably more in the buildings around here. Okay. Speaking of roaches, there's a big palmetto bug on the wall right now next to me. You should ruin its career. I don't, Snack time. I, I'm actually, I have a phobia of cockroaches, no joke. Or like, maybe That's not fair. a legit phobia, but I really hate them. Yeah, me too. I freak and out. there are, in the room I'm in right now, there are probably about five or six yeah. that are dead. Yeah, I don't uh, know. Because do my you... mom doesn't pick them up. Yeah, actually, I don't know if any of the rest of you have seen palmetto bugs before. They're big fuckers. Hold on, let me see if I can point. Yeah, they're large. Yo, the alternate poetry angle. Oh, it's all the way up there. Yeah. What the fuck? Can you see how big that? that is? Nope, I'm done. Like you see, okay, so yeah, here's also, like this. It's not even one of the biggest ones you can see. Like no, they can be massive. This is like a average size, maybe below average. What the fuck is he? Just... Yeah, that's uh, yeah. That's like, one of the you... things that really that's the that's uh... it really threw me off when I was doing work down south. Like, yeah, that's, those <laughs> those big. bugs are too big. Yeah, down there. yeah. yeah. You make them too like, big. That happened to me once when we were we were working in Texas on houses, like building some oh. houses, and we were underneath the deck, and there was a black widow spider. And I've never seen oh, yeah. one of those before from being in the north. And I was uh, like, oh. Yeah, we have those around here too. <laughs> 
Yeah, we got a lot of yeah, spiders. Wolf spiders are the biggest ones. They're, 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 they're not harmful. Oh but wolf spiders are like the size of yeah, the wolf your spiders hand. Spiders are really big. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. That's the the thing job is, site yeah. I was on. Someone got yeah. bit by a brown recluse and would oh, didn't make it back to the job site. Yeah. Ooh. It was like bad. Hey, Tucker. Yeah. yeah. We have those up here but, uh, too. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, these bugs, they can be the size of like a sugar cookie. It's 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 yeah, ridiculous. Crazy. Chomp. Uh oh uh, yeah. So uh are you guys going to send in the bats? Send in the bats. Release the bats. Uh, it's up to Bree, but I think I so. Love bats. Bats, bats. We are the bats. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrating yet another yeah, so... slaughter of the innocents. <laughs> so yeah, I can make uh, 8, 16, or 24 of them. More odds. I 24. think 24 is probably required for the this use yeah. case. Okay. Alright. So Bree will make... A massive swarm. I mean, twenty four is, I guess, not a massive yeah, swarm. Yeah, they're like, giant bats. Oh, oh <laughs> giant oh, bats! No, 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 wait. We don't. We don't want to do giant bats. Those are going to be more. Because those, those won't blend in. Yeah. You oh, can okay, do normal bats too. Just... Yeah, that's fine. Can you make more if they're normal? No, the limit is eight. Okay. For things. Yeah. Fair. All right. So. Yeah, you can summon a bunch of a. Uh, you still summon a bunch of bats, and they, uh, yeah, they, they will just, you give them instructions to basically fly through the tunnels as much as they can, and then return with their info, I'm assuming? Yeah, like, like make sure they can return back before they disappear in an hour. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I think you should give them an emphasis on going deeper, and, uh, if, if they find, if they find humans that aren't vampires, to immediately return. Or dwarves or elves or yeah. whatever, because they don't have to be humans. Okay. Yeah. The real horror show is they travel for an hour and don't find anything. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Well, so you send them out, and then you you wait, and nothing happens in this hour besides that. Um, after an hour has passed, or well, a little less than an hour, because they still need to have time to like tell you what was happening, right? But they're back. The, they would be back within an hour, except only like twenty return. Or so you said they're twenty four though, right? So yeah, twenty four. Yeah, only twenty return. So a few of them either got snapped up by something or like were found or whatever. But twenty return, and they would relay to you. What they had seen, they quickly describe in each direction that the ones had gone. A couple of them, like, intersected at one point and then had broke off in other ways. Uh, and, yeah, they describe how, like, a lot of the tunnels are... Um, a lot of the tunnels are uh, were done... <clears throat> I guess... Not for, like, no reason, but, like, a lot of the tunnels are fairly empty. And they would say that there's only, like, a a few parts deeper down where there seem to be, like, more a, a concentration of stuff. They would say that a couple of them, like, had found, like, what looked to be, like, traps and stuff. Similar to the one you guys had sprung. Um, and they also said that they had seen different groups of vampires and also some other creatures that they would describe as, like, bug-like creatures. Um, and from the description, it sounds like there was actually maybe a couple more Umber Hulks, but then also the Ankegs that you heard about, or, you know, figured out were there. So there's a mix of both of those types of bug-looking creatures as well. Um, that were kind of, like, spreading out and setting up defenses actively. So it seems like they are preparing to hunker down. However, what's most interesting is that one of the bats says... It found a, like, meeting chamber. It found, like, a place where the vampires sleep and eat. Like, the vampires have their own, like, nest area. And it would say that it saw a couple of big doors that it couldn't get through, but that it thinks that that's where their leader probably is. And another bat 
would tell you that it had found, not too far from that, it had actually found the prisoners. It found the feeding grounds, or not the feeding grounds, but like the, you know, the, the livestock grounds of the humans. Could I have had the bat explain, like, the directions and stuff, and then be, like, writing it down, like, yeah. mapping it out? Yeah, exactly, yeah. And, yeah, those, uh, another bat tells you that it was traveling near one of its other bat friends, and they were both going in that similar area, and then it heard its friend go, and stop fla flapping and fluttering its wings. Whoops. It lost signal. So it would be like it would be like yeah I think that was one of the ones that didn't make it, and they were in the area of the other two spots. So, yeah. Did the did the vampires react to them? Uh, a couple of them said that like some like that one, a vampire or two kind of recognized that they weren't the normal bats, and maybe tried to like take swipes of them, but then they ran away. And they, they would they would kind of speculate they'd be like that might be where one or two of the other ones disappeared. But some of the some of the bats are like, yeah, we were fine, no one noticed. Yeah. Either way, you do think you have enough knowledge now where you could make it to that the prisoner area and also to the vampire's hub if you wanted you feel like you have the knowledge to make it there without much issue without getting lost all right in we go then yeah that sounds what you have oh, do you feel like which way did the which way did they go in from castleways or uh, they would have gone in from a, probably a few different ways, right? Like, out of the ones you'd found. Which most of them were in or around the, the castle, right? So. Um. Yeah. yeah, I know that. But, I'm just, what if Bree isn't awake for the entire combat? And we have to beat, beat really fast. <laughs> That's why I'm against teleporting in. If we just walk in, I can just like scratch the X's on the wall or something. I can bread trail, bread trail out, breadcrumb trail. But... Mm -hmm. True. Oh, I mean, I did have, she like, just draw... mapped out? Yeah, she's like, mapped been out drawing... as much as I could from. The... Okay, so yeah. she has a there's a physical map. Okay. Yeah, it might not be super high high definition, high resolution. But it would be enough to see, like, okay, the next the next split is you're going to go left. The next split is right. It might not have accurate distances between the splits, right? But, like... Okay. It'd be pretty easy to just, like, have a branching tree, like, mat diagram at the very least. That you could retrace or go through one way or the other. Okay. So what's the plan? What's yeah, the, what's the plan? Walk in the front door. <laughs> uh, I could teleport in and I could just be revived if I die. Yeah, that's true. Bring the casters. Okay, so you're going to bring like your whole normal squad. You should have had them bring in like a stick or something so you could travel through nature to them. Yeah. I say let's just go. Yeah. With the boys. Okay. Um. One second. Uh. Okay. And so yeah. So so teleport in then, right? Is, is what you mean by going? <laughs> so the which teleport is going to be used? The Helios teleport? Yes. Yeah, so I thought we were walking in the door. Are we? Are we teleporting in? Oh, oh, sorry, okay, As, yeah. I misunderstood. The proponents, yeah. of, the proponents of walking in, are you walking in? Okay, walk in, walk in. For. So walk, walk in, in okay. with the diagram, with the map, or whatever, have a few copies on hand too, I'm assuming, and then uh, 
Uh, Alright, and you're just going to go the most direct path to reach the prisoners, I'm assuming? Or do you want to go to the vampires hub first? If we don't have to go to the vampires hub, I don't think we yeah, should. I think we should. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah, we just go to the prisoners and we, and we leave. Right. You know, we could always, like, if we wanted to postpone this a few days, like, if we cared uh, to do that, we could hire a mercenary company of, like, a hundred guys and then just go in with them and just end everything in the tunnels. Wouldn't even cost us that much. Maybe, like, a couple thousand gold. True. I mean, oh where are we going to find these guys? How long is it going to take him to get here? Like, You would have seen that there's probably at least a, a little, like... There's probably at least a somewhat decent band of mercenaries in Pune. Let oh, me guess. Why and... do they have planes? Mm, no, <laughs> not these ones. Are we gonna hire the half band? Not these ones. No, they, these <laughs> really... <laughs> really let really them all funny. die underground alone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're you're welcome to do that. It would just take a few days, like you said. Is there a time limit on like oh, the people being alive that are in there? They're not gonna get more dead. Yeah, we were going on this journey with the expectation that I'd have to revive them from the dead anyway. So even yeah. if the vamp, like Lady Valeria, decides she wants to kill these two specifically, then keep like because that's the only thing I think they do. They're not going to kill their entire feedstock. They might kill his parents though because they know that's who we want. But even if she does that, if we come back with the Mercs and kill everybody, or sorry, they're not people, and we don't kill them, um, but you know what I mean, then I'll just revive them. You know, and it's an extra couple thousand gold. Plus, that's more people to spread the word that we rid the world of vampires. Or, well, we didn't rid the of world, these. but, you know, we, we got rid of these, yeah. Mm -hmm. When you revive so, them, are they still vampires? No, they're not, no, they're vampires, not vampires at all. Yeah. Or and even if, and, 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 yeah, if, well, yeah, if they become vampires and then I kill them and then revive them, they will not be vampires. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, it's something we could do. Um,. And we could use that to spend the rest of the session asking more questions, and we do nothing this session like we've been doing. <laughs> which I'm fine with, because I like asking the questions. But, uh, so either we do we do combat right now with our people, um, and go in ourselves, or we bring 50 to 100 able-bodied men. Maybe we give them silver weapons, because we can also... Oh, wait, that's werewolves. Never mind. Uh... <laughs> Wednesday. We get some. We could get some. Yeah, we could hire a couple freelance casters. Maybe Prune. Maybe Pune has a few like that. They could cast Dawn with only a fifth level spell. I'm sure we can find somebody who can do that. What's up to you guys? I just wanted to posit that as a third option that is less risky. Yeah, but then like it's explained about like, okay, why are we leaving? Who are all these guys? Let's just let's just go with them. Hey, yeah, that's going. Actually, as you, guys, yeah, as you guys are kind of like discussing this, making your plans, doing all this stuff, at some point, someone, one of your sentries would walk in and be like, um, hey, uh, the bosses, uh, there is, uh, there's a group of dwarves here. Like up here? He's like, no. Like, yeah, we know. Like, we hired them like three months ago. Like in the town down there, there's a group of dwarves. They just showed up a few minutes ago. Hmm. From where? Are they traitors? I, he's like, I don't know. We haven't. They, they, they raised a flag, uh, like a, like a friendly flag. They so they okay. Uh, let's go. Let's go check it out. It's it's daytime, right? Like it's morning. Like probably it's like 10 a.m. Uh, yeah, this is like more late morning, mid morning. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Let's all go down there and see what's up. Hey. Um. Yeah. So you actually. You... <laughs> That's true. Fuck that. Fuck the doors. <laughs> <laughs> you. Uh, you. You see. Yeah. You. You guys go out on your castle for some look down, and you see a group of like maybe like a hundred dwarves that are already literally some of them are already pulling out cooking equipment. And like 
Oh. Like, weapon repair, like, a station is already being set up. Like, they all uh, look pretty armed, actually. Pretty, uh, they, they look like they are, like, a traveling band. Like, maybe mercenary, though. I don't know, you know? Um, maybe your prayers have been answered. But, in any case, they have a little Let's banner. Go. They have a little banner that they set up in the center. It's clear that they are not, like, hostile you or anything. Like, they, they set up a banner in, like, I don't know. There's probably some system in these lands of, like, uh, you know, a certain position of the banner means, like, we just want to talk or whatever. Roll me an intelligence check, everyone. Flat intelligence check. That's interesting. <laughs> okay. Holy shit. Oh, damn. That's, oh, shit. my God. Oh, wow. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> my we, we all got the brain cell. Right? Everyone, every That's single cool. one of you is like, wait a minute. That that seal like or crest on the, on the banner looks familiar. I knew it. Uh-oh. And... Then you all come to the realization at the same time. Maybe Talbo a split second before everyone else. Uh, and it's like, wait a minute. That's the crest of the royal family of Dupegard and Gavagard. Because it's the same family in both. Like, right? Like, it was branches of the same family. And you see... Yeah, you recognize the family... I don't even have a name for their family. But they would probably just be the family of Dupegard, right? Like, the Dupegard royal yeah. family. Uh, and you see this this banner uh, with their crest emblazoned, or not emblazoned on it, but you know, like shining on it. Gotcha. Hey, we've got that thing uh, from. Is that supposed I don't to be like it, I don't the, know. I don't... the aware emote? <laughs> <laughs> it's like aware. No, it's got the mind. IOU from Baldi, the administer of the or, wait, the administrator of the temple district. Which we stole from that noble in Dupegard. Not like that don't mean anything, but uh, yeah, I just remembered that that's like our one link to Dupegard still. Um, we have uh, well, one of the rings too, don't we? Like the, like the signal, yes, we do. Sigil yeah, ring. we yeah we do. Um, there's also just I was gonna th I was noting this in my head. Um, every every member of that family who was at Gabigard was killed and eaten by the purple worm. Uh, so it could be that the nobles don't know, you know, we were involved in that, and that we were just present during a spontaneous purple worm attack. Yeah, you know? let's go off of that. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, I, no, I, I, got a, I, I got a great, I got a great lead in this. Leave this to me, guys. Oh no. <clears throat> oh boy. Uh, they were gonna betray us. It wasn't our fault. And, so, um, <laughs> okay, so you guys are gonna like go down off the castle and talk to them? Uh, yeah, I yeah. think we should go okay. down with some of our NPC buddies and uh, perhaps all of the clerics. Okay. Not as like a show of force, but as like a show of force. Okay. Yeah, you, you can definitely, yeah, you go off the castle, you go up towards the edge of this like temporary little camp that these dwarves are quickly throwing up. Um, and like a couple of them will like, would be kind of like up as sentries and they would kind of like come up and meet you guys and be like, like our leader will meet with you in a second. And sure enough, after Please, please hold him. After, yeah, after a minute, you see this dwarf uh, in like full plate armor, probably enchanted plate armor from the looks of it, like just going clung, clung, and he's got a few like uh, heavily armored dwarves on his side, and he just like stomps forward and he holds out a hand like with a big hearty gesture. He's like, "Who are you?" He's like, "Who are you, bastards?" What is this? Who are we bastards? Who are you bastards? <laughs> I gotta do you one better. I, why are we? We heard that Gavin or Duke Guard had fallen to a giant purple worm. How are you here? He's like, he's like, <laughs> yeah, this this is good. <laughs> Not suspicious at all. Nailed it. Uh, roll me a deception check, actually, just to see like, <laughs> like how well you pull up. Okay, I'm pretty convincing. Um, and this guy actually, from what, uh, like, when you see his reaction, he doesn't really seem like he reacts at all, like, in any way where he suspects you. He just kind of like, he's like, oh, you heard about that, yeah, and unfortunately, uh, unfortunately my, my cousins who were the, the rulers there while their dad was, they, they died apparently, uh, I mean, oh, you seem like, you seem like you know your stuff, but, uh, well, that's why I'm here. Um, I don't know why the fuck you guys are here, but, uh. <clears throat> I've heard about some of the stuff you did. You guys have done a lot of stuff, huh? Uh, I heard you were around Gabagard at the time. Surprised you didn't hear about it. But in any case, um, we uh, 
We were sent here by my uh, my cousin, uh, my other cousin, the the King of Dupegard. Because, well, yeah, you know, what with Gabagard, with its industry, all, all the slaves being let loose, all of its industry being damaged, um, it's probably going to be a while until its weapons productions are back in full effect. And we've been sent to look for other sources of metals. Well, it's a well, really cool uh, thing. Um, we know this cave system. <laughs> yeah. He, he nods and he's like, he's like, oh, well, that's that's why we're here. Of course, uh, we know about it too. One of my one of my buddies here heard the rumors. Uh, he put motions back to a, a, what's clearly a dwarven cleric, and you quickly get the idea that he probably communed or did, you know, legend lore, something along those lines, right? Uh, and he's like, he's like, yeah, my my uh, my friend here, he uh, he asked uh, asked the gods for wisdom and was told that there might be. Deposits of. Hmm, I don't really mind telling you. It's not like we're going to let you take it, anyways, at this point. Deposits of ice flick in these mountains. Wow, that's that'll be lucrative for you. Um, that's not why we're here. Uh, it's all luckily perfect. for both of us. Yeah, yeah. But um, the gods are fickle, uh, as I'm sure your as I'm sure your friend knows, and I'll gesture to him. There's something they left out in their descriptions of the cave system. It's uh, completely filled with it's vampires. This, it's this fully stocked tavern over here. <laughs> it's this fully stocked tavern <laughs> that we set up for you as a as a welcome. No, um, I, I'm I'm gonna tell. I, I mean, Talbo might interrupt, but I'm gonna be like, huh? And I'm gonna tell them that there are vampires here. Okay, yeah. The guy Ice it, Flick is worth the fight. You the know, guy so. is like, oh, we we already knew that too. We were here for a fight. We've got. Uh, any any motions back toward like another like they again they're basically setting up a camp and the camp is already like halfway set up doors are really good at this sort of thing. well these doors at least are really good at this yeah. sort of thing these this looks like you know now that you're seeing them in action this is definitely uh they're not mercenaries technically it's it's an adventuring band of doors right yeah this is yeah. like a oh okay I thought it was like a retinue well like okay. yeah basically like that I, you know either either way uh being led by this dwarf who is of noble blood but basically it, you know it's like crusader kings when you set off one of your kids to go adventuring or whatever or like lord of the rings yeah. when the dwarves were like we're gonna go reclaim moria or whatever right you know they just a couple of the noble ones take a bunch of their followers and they just go and do something right that's it's dwarf shit <laughs> Um, <laughs> and, uh, and you can see already these dwarves are pretty good at what they're doing here with this war band adventuring sort of thing because they've already set up like like a, like a gate like already like a temporary fence and like with like wooden stakes like it's happened it's getting thrown up real quick um, the uh, and on like a, they already have a table set up and on the table is already being divvied out these like little sacks like they look like coin purses but then the guy when he motions back he's like hey show them what we got and, like, one of the guys, like, opens up one of the bags and pours out on, like, a little pl metal plate. And you see a bunch of dust. White, silvery dust. Cocaine. No, it's, 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 no, it's silver. It's, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's silver dust, right? He's like, he's like we've got silver. He's got a bunch. He's, he would say, like, you know, a bunch of us got ice block weapons, silver weapons. And the ones who don't, well, they're getting powder. We're ready. Don't worry. <laughs> Yo, can we cop some I of that powder? It. <laughs> uh, we don't know. We don't need to. I have, a, I have an idea. Um, we could snort it, but for after that, after that, um, <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like. I will say, we don't know how many there are. We, uh, we know there's the one, uh, that one bitch. What's her name? Valeria. Yeah. Yeah, we're familiar. Yeah. Hate her. We God, know there. Are, yeah, she's a bitch. She's ambushed us. She invited us here and then ambushed us twice. Um. And so there are at he least three people in the third were. time. <laughs> He's like, he's like, yeah, we've heard about her. Any other intel you mind sharing? I, I, I don't have much to trade in info, info that you probably don't have, but uh, you could I can... give us like a nice, like a small little piece of ice, like for a very important piece of information we carry. He nods. He's, he's, no, he's like, well, he's like, I'll give you whatever you think is fair, but <laughs> I'd love to know what you know. Giant queen. <laughs> 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 so yeah, um, I actually I think because we don't want to set up a mining outpost here, uh, or I, maybe I would have if I had known that there was ice flick underneath that because that would have been profitable as fuck. But I'm okay getting a discount from the Dwarven Empire that sets it up. So um, if, if the party's all right, then I want to like actually fully commit to this and like set up an order of battle and give them all our info. Yeah, and tell them about all the creepy crawlies down there. Okay. Yeah. 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 We don't have to go through it all again, but yeah, basically, I just want to know, like, yeah, how much are you gonna tell them? If you're gonna tell them basically everything, then uh, 
Yeah, yeah I want to tell okay. them everything. Yeah. And then, uh, well, like, we'll even, I want to create this thing, like, their warriors supported by my clerics. Yeah. Uh, to get them experience and shit with healing and all that, so. The, the more you tell them, the more they are very appreciative. And this dude, like, who uh, has no idea that you potentially killed his cousins, uh, <laughs> is like, uh, yeah. he, he, this dude is like, uh, he, he's, he, uh, he becomes, uh, you know, he was already kind of uh, just a hearty fellow, like, you know, he, he's uh, kind of foul mouthed, but, uh, the more you kind of talk with him, he, he generally genuinely seems appreciative, and he doesn't really he's, yeah. he doesn't throw it. You know, unlike some dwarves, later. unlike some dwarves, he doesn't really throw in any like racist or like you know digs at you guys. Like, you know, some some dwarves are like, oh, sure. like like your weapons are like okay, but they're not as good as ours. He doesn't really throw in much of that. Like maybe a little bit, but like not as much as most dwarven nobles would be that you've experienced. I'm actually wearing dwarven smith ice flick right now. That's so true. The, yeah. That's pretty swag. Yeah, he'd probably give you some compliments and uh, bread with him, yeah. Yeah, and he would uh in general he would he would basically he'd be pretty receptive to the idea of like working together, at least pooling info if nothing else. He he would tell you, he's like he's like, uh well do you mention the fact that you don't really care about the mining aspect? I mean I'll I'll mention it insofar as uh it would be really nice to have another source and one with whom we are familiar. He's like, yeah. Like, he, but I, don't, I mean, we don't he, want to take it over. Yeah, if you say that and kind of imply that, he'll be like, he'll be like, oh, uh, you know, we uh, certainly, I wouldn't expect you guys to have all the necessarily uh, mining experience that uh, some of my boys do, but uh, I'll tell you what, we will cut you a, a premium deal. Supposing we get this all clear, cleared out, you'll have the, you'll have wholesale. Best prices you'll find anywhere in the continent. I guarantee you that. Hell yeah. That's uh, yeah. Men just see see this and say hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, that's that is exactly what I wanted. Yeah. And does easy seem genuine, or I mean, I don't know. Yeah, roll uh, roll an inside check. Yes. I'm yes. good at that. Yeah, he seems like he he genuinely means it. Like he seems like he. He, he seems very confident in his men's abilities and his own abilities to the point where he seems like, like, why wouldn't I be able to share some metal at a good price for them, right? So I have some here with uh, held so. information. But other than that... <laughs> yeah. Uh... But yeah. So he would, uh, he would tell you that... He would basically tell you, like, he... He's not gonna, like, be... You know, he, he, even though he's fairly receptive to the idea... He would say, you know, like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give you guys a bunch of my my men to command or anything, but we coordinate, and I'm sure we'll take them out twice as easily. We were ready to probably lose a few of our of our guys, and uh, with you know they all know what they're signing up for, but uh, with you guys and us working together, I don't think we have anything to worry about. Well, I think we could do yeah. this with no losses. Does their um, cleric know daylight, or? What is it, they actually beam? probably I, I, do have a couple, like maybe ten. Yeah, I would expect as much. Cleric, so. mm -hmm. Yeah, because all, all you need is one, and you have an entire division that's covered in sunlight. So yeah. you just have them in the middle, and then walk in. Yeah, um, that's exactly what I was going to suggest. Have one of the one of the big clerics in the middle, or me, then my clerics near the front, and then the dwarves uh, under their own command fighting alongside our men, or maybe us. Mm -hmm. If you tell him about... You told him about the Ankegs, too, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What he would actually say is, like, you know... He would tell you that unless there's a... He would basically say, like, unless there's a way to kill the source, kill the, the commander, Lady Valeria, which she probably won't make herself known or easily available, unless there's a way to snap off the head, then... Uh, the way I see it is we've got two main threats. The group of vampires and the NK queen. I say we split up. And since you guys were here first, you take first pick. I'm sure there will be some NKs with the vampires and some vampires with the NKs, but, you know, what do you think is going to be... I'll tell you what, buddy. I really want to punch this very bitch in the mouth. He nods. He's like, he's like, uh, he looks at the rest of you because he's like, you know, he kind of recognizes that you're not like, you don't have a leader. 
Um, so he's like, you know, looks to the rest of you to basically be like, uh, do you guys yeah. agree with your friend here? <laughs> what did you mean when? He, what did you mean when he when you said, um, unless we're able to like, I imagine you were going to say, cut the head off the snake. Yeah. Like, uh, if, is there some unique advantage we gain if Lady Valeria were dead? Well, he shrugs. He's, we he's like, he's like, that's. I don't know if they would like fall over and die, but like, presumably they would just be a good move. Fair enough. Fair enough. Just wondering. But yeah, he nods. He's like, he looks at you guys. And he's like, he's like, if you want to take on uh, Valeria and her vampires, uh, um. While we deal with the the Ankeg Queen, uh, while we we're used to dealing with the Ankegs, normally in the the big uh, mountain homes, they they aren't uh, too often a big problem. But in the outlying settlements uh, and mining towns, sometimes they'll pop up in our cave systems. We we know how to deal with them. Okay, smart move. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, they're burrowing creatures, right? The mine, uh, they're gonna run into mining creatures, so yeah. So he, he, yeah, he would tell you. He's like, he's like, he's like, we can handle them if you handle the vampires, and then sooner or later, Valeria will show herself to one of our groups. Sounds good. Uh, if you are dealing with the Enkegs, which aren't you know particularly susceptible to cleric magic, such as mine and yours, do you think you'd be able to lend us, uh, you know, one cleric, and he'd be adequately compensated, of course, or she, I guess. Uh, for her services under our command, it would make it, I think, much easier. Oh, sorry, my only spare dwarf cleric is actually non-binary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, he would be like, uh, he, he would, he would be like, you consider, he'd be like, yeah, that, that's fine. He would tell you, uh, but he would, he would actually be like thinking, he's like, you know what, I'll take that, but I want him in return. And he points up at Feyor, who's like one of your guys, like biggest, bulkiest kind of like, you know, tanks basically. Yeah. And he's like, he's like, hey, well, um, uh, Feyor. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Oh no, you you go ahead. You're fine. Oh, I was gonna say you're in luck. Feyor uh, doesn't really leave the side of um, our other buddy Rakiel, who is an adept sorcerer, and you could get a two for one. And Rakiel and Feyor could both go with you if if they would like. If not, we have many other large uh, and formidable soldiers like Cog here. He would, he would be like, oh, those uh, those two would be fine. Feyor and Rakiel, you said their names were. They they look formidable enough, and uh, sorcerer uh, a sorcerer with, with magics, fires, and the like would be helpful against the, the bugs. That's true, that's true. Yeah. Um, for what, okay, well, like yeah, looking... if Rockiel and Feyor are good with that, then we're chilling. Yeah, and sizing yeah. it up, you, like, the cleric that he's lending you in return actually does seem to be a fair trade, because, like, Rockiel and Feyor are pretty good as a team, but neither of them are super high level. This cleric is actually pretty decent level, so it's a good trade, the two for one. So. If he can cast Dawn and or Sunbeam, I'm right. happy. He can definitely, let's see, what level is Dawn? I don't know. Five. Uh, yeah, I would say he, this, well, this cleric probably has... What's Sunbeam six or is it five two? Six, yeah, Sunbeam six. Okay, I would say he's probably just he has like one spell slot of six level. So then whatever that would put him, you know, in that range. I mean, roughly. I think I have one six level spell slot. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, we'll say he's. Yeah, probably, the main thing is like. Yeah. Even even if we do like all we need is two. If we have two sources of sunlight, then it becomes way harder for the vampires to get rid of any of them. Yeah, you know, he's yeah. probably like an eleventh or twelfth awesome, level spellcaster, so not even that far below you guys. So mm -hmm. that's pretty swag. Yeah. Okay. So he definitely Vampire has both of those. resigned. Mm-hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So he, and um, the uh, the dwarf, like you know, there would be some other logistics stuff that you can kind of figure out before next time. But uh, eventually, the you know the kind of these preparations are these you know the negotiations or whatever um, that planning short. it runs its course. And at this point, it's like mid afternoon. Like it takes a while, and like uh, you know, uh, um, you kind of probably even set up like a war table, like bring them up to the castle, you and maybe and kind of really plan it out, like you're using Bree's diagrams and maps and stuff. Um, um, True. You start making plans, and uh, the. Eventually, the dwarf would be, you know, he's basically like, let's take the rest of this day to prepare. Tomorrow, we launch our attack. 
and, you know, we got a drink on it. And he pulls out from his belt a big flask of <laughs> Dwarven Fire Whiskey. And this is high quality stuff just from, like, he uncorks it and you smell, this is like noble tier stuff that only a noble dwarf could get. <laughs> so yeah, if you if you want to partake it, he does. He passes out a round a round of shots to you know to to celebrate this occasion of a good alliance being formed. Um, and yeah, so so Helios rolls a seventeen, table with an eleven. A Dow and Hold Bree on, on. Uh, is Bertra, is Bree gonna take any of the dwarven fire whiskey? It's can't say no, but you're to my right again. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, okay, can it's... I? Uh... Can I, uh, Mr. Helios? I'm, I i don't know about this one. <laughs> the rat rolls a 16. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go the rat, the like, rat yeah. rolls a 16 and I roll a 3. Um, <laughs> do you want to give Helios his encouragement? I, I imagine that it's like, I would yeah, like I'll to please encore that before because yeah, I, I cannot embarrass myself no, like it's this. Good, it's good. I imagine that it's like you drink it and then it's sitting in your throat because you're like, <gasps> like it hits you different. This time for a reason, roll and so Helios is like, "Oh shit!" Like, like you got it, bud. And, and then, <laughs> well, I mean, we're gonna see how effective that is. That okay. was pretty effective. Okay, not bad. Thirteen. Honestly, this stuff is like so like fine. Like this is very again very very. This is top top shelf uh, still. Yeah. yeah. Um, and what that means is actually it actually is slightly easier to. It's 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 still just as strong, but it's so fine. That it goes down your throat easier. So even though most of the time the DC is actually like twelve to not vomit, it's actually only ten. So you're actually all fine. Let's go. Yeah, barely for yeah. Talvo. <laughs> Talvo's like has, he does a mini vomit in his mouth and then he forces it down because he doesn't want to show weakness. <laughs> but you guys, Just a few none more of you... times that should build a natural immunity. To it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> right. I feel like we we should be getting better at this over time, but I feel like I'm getting worse. Yeah, unfortunately, you don't have proficiency in it yet. This would be, this would be like a tool. Yeah, it'd be it should at this point. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, yeah, what is this? Probably ten or fifteen times we've done it. It's a lot. Yeah. Well, no, it's like what do you tell kids? Like, yeah, try something seven times before you like it. <laughs> yeah. Just to get them to yeah. shut up and eat. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, yeah, you all, you all. Uh, Adao and Talvo barely managed to keep it down, but uh, luckily you do. And uh, and he, this seems like it earned some respect in his mind because uh, uh, he's like he's like ah oh, that's the that's the stuff. <coughs> and, yeah, the stuff rules. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> yeah, and I think that I'm is having where, the time uh, of my life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I think that is where we will uh, wrap up here. So. Uh, yeah, it sounds like you guys have a rough plan, and next time, maybe you can have even, uh, you know, you can have even, uh, you know, you can have the stream. Uh, you can come up with even more details, so. And actually, next time might not be next week, because I might be doing my Souls Marathon thing, so. Oh, yeah, we're still going. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I'm planning on starting it on Wednesday, so... I don't think I'm going to be able to beat all of Dark Souls Trilogy and Sekiro and Elden Ring, all bosses, in five days or whatever that is. So, we'll see. I mean, I could just take a break, but the, I don't know. I'll do a, we'll do a one-shot. The whole point of the marathon One is, is uh, to, oh, yeah. To, like, not not play anything else until I'm done with it, so. It's like Fair. I'm fasting from other games. <laughs> oh my god, the Momo? What the hell? That's a good Momo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right? That is a, that is a good yeah, Momo. You, the only thing is, you need a little bit more... I guess I had to picture him, but it needs a little bit more like brown and like the eyebrows and black. Yeah, it looks so. sort of like an Ewok. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll send a picture. Of this. That's a <laughs> good that's Momo. Just Momo. <laughs> yeah. I don't actually... I, I don't have a poetry Momo emo. I need to get one. So. <laughs> you had Mia and Charlie, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't have Tucker or Momo, so... Mm -hmm. Damn, I'm pissed off. <laughs> Why? Why? Because I expected one fucking thing out of lie, and she they didn't do it. <laughs> they didn't do the yippee. True, oh, true. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, wait. <laughs> that means Duncan. Oh my god! Wait, does that mean that Duncan? No one else did a yippee, did they? No. Nope. No. I get three yippees forever. Yo, quick lie. Do a yippee real quick if you're here. Lie. <laughs> no, do it. Do it. no, do it. no. Uh, 
God it. damn it. I can't believe that no one came in and did a yippee. But... Okay, but you have to <laughs> set it up so that um, he can do it by typing. So anytime he types yippee. Typing yippee. <laughs> yeah. So we can you know how many times yeah, 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 yeah. you know how many times I wanted to bait it? Be like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll draw Momo. Just uh, hit me with a yippee really quick. <laughs> like, I, I'm like, I'm like, no, no. If I do that, then the bet has no honor. And yeah. yep. Okay. Well, I guess. Oh fuck. I it gotta, was really hard to say. Like, I'm not aware of it. I gotta like, set it up. It. Oh god. Yeah, I could set it up so that it's like the same logic that the farts use, where the fart gates are open. So it's just but it's only Duncan it. can use it, yeah. Yeah, but that's oh, that's gonna be so many yippees potentially, but well, yeah, that's um, yeah, that's a bad. yeah I'll, yippee. I'll, I'll abide by it. So <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, out of everybody here, Duncan's probably one of the least risky. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, like I least least have I would be. I have seen. Yeah, I at least have faith in Duncan <laughs> to have some restraint. So. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Oh yeah, well that'll, that'll do it for us then, uh, everyone, and uh, we will, like I said, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on, on next week. I mean, you know, um, once I start my stream, you'll be able to just tune in and see how I'm doing. Um, but, uh, oh wait, no, I need the D&D on the screen. Yeah, that'll be it for us. Uh, I'm going to host up Satan. Um, she is doing some Children of the Sun. I have no idea what that is, but... Um, Oh, it's uh, like Sniper Elite plus Super Hot. It's pretty cool. Interesting. Super. Okay. Uh, oh, I got. I can do Super Hot in VR again. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I'm going to. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll wrap up here. I I don't think I'm gonna stream again tonight. Maybe I will. We'll see. But I will not. Yeah. Nice to work. Either way. It won't be till like next uh, weekend where I'm actually like, able to stream again. Yeah. Yeah. I will. Either way. Thanks for everyone. See everyone next time. Bye bye. Bye.